hello, hello, and welcome everybody to Table Stories Gone. I'm PB. Hello, hello, and welcome. Whoa, why am I hearing? Oh my God, I'm hearing things. I heard you. Oh. I heard you again. Is it from me? Try it again. Hello? That was sweet. Who was it? That was it? scary. Who was it? Oh. Why can I my hear it and then it not? Oh, anyway, it's fine. Hello. Again? <laughs> yes. That was cool. It was, it was trippy, man. I'm yeah, gone right now. Pretty, pretty oh wild. My God. <laughs> um, hello. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I just wait before we start. Actually, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been crazy and reviewing the show already on iTunes. Like there are like 22 reviews already on iTunes, which is insane. Um, oh. People have been making rounds, uh, saying hi. There's fan art already. It's insane. It's nuts. A bit overwhelming. Uh, but thank you very, 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 very much. Uh, yeah, so let's let's go around and say hello. Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, John again, like we did last time. John. Yeah, what's up, everyone? I, I So PB said we couldn't join the Discord, which I totally respect. Yeah. You probably I joined the now. Discord, but I didn't read anything. All I wanted to see was like, Hey, is anyone like talking about the show? Holy shit. <laughs> I have never in my life. I, I just went like this with my mouse. I grabbed it and I went and it took like for me to scroll down and not look at anything, of course, because I wouldn't do that. But like for me <laughs> to scroll down and see everything, it, it was like a, it would take probably an hour and a half, two hours to read everything that's been dropped in there. Not even kidding. Not, if you read every line. It's yep. good having the spoiler thing as well. Cause the spo yeah, yeah, I mean, I, but I, so I, I'm, I'm just saying that. I was, I was shocked and I just want to say thank you. Cause that is, so I can't wait till she gives us the clear or, you know, maybe even after the show, I'm gonna have to wait till, or like when we, whatever it is, but like, God, thank you guys so much. Very, very oh, cool. Okay. What? Oh, sorry. You disappeared, John. It shouldn't be too long now though. I'm He's gone. gone. I'm yeah, gone. You were gone. gone. I think I was trying to adjust uh, so, your crop and I fucked it up. Sorry. No, you're good. So, so cool. Uh, thank you guys. And good to be here. Mm. Uh, Speth, you're up. I, I did not read the discord and, um, my, uh, <coughs> I actually never read discord anyway. So I'm just under the guise of like, not yeah. even ours. <laughs> I avoid spoilers. <laughs> I just avoid discord in general. I'm like never on, um, but yeah, I'm. Uh, I've been very much looking forward to uh, today's episode because I still don't know what the hell's going on, and I'm looking forward to um, seeing who's alive and who's who who made it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. So I guess we're get, we're here to see. And that's I, all I got. <laughs> I mean, Brad, you're up. Yeah, Brad, please. <laughs> Hello. Um, I am also here. I don't know what to expect. I, I'm even more confused than I was last time. I think, you know, like get, getting information. I thought, well, after episode one, being kept in the dark so much by PB and with the system and uh, not being allowed to look at things or get involved in stuff and just being told to stay in that corner over there and shut up and... Uh, Everything will be revealed to you soon enough. I was like, oh, that's going to be episode one. But actually episode one happened and now I have no fucking idea whatsoever what's going on. Um, I love it. It's really weird though, because PB was saying stuff like, oh man, you guys are going to guess what's going on and you're going to work out the stuff. And I'm like, she's paranoid that I'm going to work anything out. And I'm like, I am so confused. I have no idea. I have like one theory that I I kind of have a night, but I don't, I, there's no way. I just I, I, I have love no it. theories none I, I love it I wish I had I, uh, the clip right wrong. now from my stream a couple days ago where I said I know Brad well enough to know he's gonna be like I think I have it but no way and he's gonna be right <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said I, I don't, don't know, know what I mean, he's thinking maybe. though I don't know what he's thinking um yeah I I, I have like one kind of theory um that I'm gonna go with but I I enjoy not knowing anything you know like i i agree i feel like mm -hmm. i guess a lot of stuff right with stuff a lot of the time and my brain is often just kind of like trying to work things out and even if i don't want it to so being completely just immersed in my own utter and complete confusion is extremely enjoyable some for some reason um yeah i don't know i'm just looking forward to it oh also i went to the doctor yesterday day before yesterday for uh so i have this like i had this really bad heart pain like three weeks ago 
um, I started getting this like really bad heart pain here. Um, and it was with me for like three weeks. I didn't really mention it or talk about it because I didn't want to freak anyone out or anything. And I didn't want to freak myself out. Or I had shadow. this like, yeah, man, I had this like, I've been, I've been in quite a lot of pain for like three weeks and it was like heart pain. I went to the doctor and I'm fine. I got the all clear. It was, I basically have um, strained, I think you call it in America. I've pulled like the muscle that sits around my heart kind of. Oh, pericarditis. Um, oh shit. It's not, yeah, it's not that though, because it's not the sac, it's the actual pericardium okay. muscle that's around, it's nothing, it's like surface damage, it's nothing whatsoever at all, but it's uh, just a little um, sore, but I can feel it. But anyway, PB was describing last week, she was like, and you get shot just here on the left. <laughs> like, that's exactly where I have real pain, you oh, piece of no. shit. <laughs> you were like, this is too fun. This is I was too like, fun. no, I know exactly how this feels. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was really weird. Like, yeah, you die in the game, you die in real life. Um, so it was really strange to have uh, to have, have had that happen, kind of. Um, so yeah, that was a whole, that was like a whole weird meta thing kind of that was going on with that, which was very interesting. Did you to, tell uh, PB that? Oh, I knew. At all? I don't know. Did oh, you, you did know, know about oh, yeah. the heart pain? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I was kind of oh, hoping knows, you did So didn't. she used it against me, which I is did. terrific, <laughs> by the way. She knows I have thing. real <laughs> bad like, health anxiety <laughs> anyway. Christ. That's why PB just like, like, asked random questions throughout the week. She's like, so how's your... How's your family? Yeah, it's to get. <laughs> I'm going on to remember. They're great. Yeah, I'm not going to tell her anymore. I was like, my yeah. kids are great. She's like, kids, perfect. She's sourcing <laughs> you for yeah. fears. No. You know, she's farming you for fears oh, that she God. can use against you. Here's where are your children now? Oh. To know where your you know where your children are? It's 4 30. Call your kids. They don't have a phone. I know. I heard you have an attic. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the kids right now? Are they in the bath oh, God. right now with that little orange ducky? Like, what the fuck? What, what, what is going fuck? on there? How do you know? It's usually a yellow duck. <laughs> I know. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Let's 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 head to KPP and then Dan, and then we'll go ahead and start. I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie Peters Plays. I'm here today. I always feel like I gotta keep things on the hush hush, so I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm here today. I'm, I'm here, here today. today. I am today. also here. <laughs> the best intro ever. Yeah. I have arrived. <laughs> well, beautiful. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Domestic Dan. I'm here today. Hell yeah. Dan! Wow. <gasps> Are what you happened? two doing the Discord thing? I just noticed. I see. Discord is probably freaking out right now because they're both saying a code word that Discord came up with. <gasps> oh, my Interesting. God. Interesting. Yeah, because yeah, they've been saying here today, gone tomorrow. And yeah, it's, Son I don't know. It's just, bitch. they've been saying it to each other. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, Our clues already happened. I know. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. We're so outside clues, of the loop. Clues, no, start, man, like... clues start the moment the show begins, which is going okay. to be right now. So we are going to dive in. We're going to play a short recap of last week's episode, if you missed it. Um, and then and then we'll go ahead and start the show. She said dive. She I said did. dive. I did. I did. I did. Dive again. What does dive mean? I said we're gonna we're gonna dive in. It's four letters. Yeah. D I V E. Uh -huh. Damn it. Uh -huh. D I V E. Diva. Dive is an anagram of pericarditis. Every word. Uh, uh, pre previously on gone. Man walks into the <laughs> looks around, raises his arm, and fires six shots into the air. <gasps> oh uh, my god. Get your hands in the air. Get your cell phones in the bag. Look at here. There's a gold bar in this safe. Fucking gold bar in there? What the fuck? You have to show it to me. All right. He opens his jacket and shows her the gold bar. I put my gun down and I stick it in my back of my pants. And I reach into a pocket and I pull out something that's just like a shiny gold container. You know the deal. Uh -huh. There's three rides. Don't do more than one. Give me give me the bar. All right. Dex. I take Dex. the bar and I, I hand him what the devil the tube. Going on? Very good. I have to take a ride out your said there's one of three cars waiting for me. You know the rules. Yeah, I guess so. And he raises his gun and he fires. Who does he shoot? Lucian. You are shot in the chest. Ah! You feel a sharp sting. Call 911. Hey, hey. 
And then I pull up my gun and I shoot. She shoots you square in the face and you fall to the ground. What the fuck? I run down the hallway, I jump over Lucian's body and I run out the door. A man's been, a man has been shot. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Oh, young man. He was here like 10 minutes ago with us. He was oh, just right oh, here. He was here. Please, I think I know him. Dex, I think they did everything that they could. They're not trying hard enough though. They gotta keep going. The, you always see in these shows, they gotta keep going. Lucian Long, C step, 53. On the hour. It's a level three trauma. Patient will be dead on arrival. It's around two in the afternoon, and the sun is high overhead. Cicadas sing in the heat. Our Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Center comes into view, and the white crucifix displayed prominently on the front of the building is a beacon as it reflects the light of the sun. An ambulance pulls into the emergency intake uh, with its lights on. The ambulance doors open, and two people stumble out in a daze. The man, shirtless and covered in blood, clutches a soaked shirt and beanie in his hands. A red-headed woman tucks her hair behind her ear, and they both watch as paramedics carry out a man on a stretcher, covered by a white sheet, blood staining through. One of the paramedics says, A nurse will be right out and get you looked at, okay? Are you talking to me? Yes. Uh, we're, okay. we'll, we'll have a nurse come out and, and, and look at you, all right? Just just wait where, wait right here, or you can wait in the lobby if you'd like. Oh, oh, oh we can go wait in the lobby? Y yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. My goodness, it is hot, isn't it? Oh. 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 Well, I I'm going to go inside in the air conditioning. Yeah, yeah, I'll join. I, I... Okay. We just watched. We have you ever have you ever seen someone die before? Uh, what? Uh, just just once. It wasn't pleasant. So you've you've done? How do you? I don't know. How do you? You, you've done this, like. Well, I've never done this. I've never ridden in a, in an ambulance before. But it, I suppose, you just kind of make your peace with, with death, with seeing it. You know. Um, they just, they just aren't a person after that, and you just have to accept it. But like I feel bad, you know. Like he has. I don't know, family, I'm sure. He was, I, I just feel bad. Like he felt, he felt something and now like he doesn't feel anything. I don't know, that just, it just sucks. I, I don't know what we could have done. I think we did our best. And I, I didn't do my best. No, you did. No. You absolutely did. No, I should have done. A we lot. were here for this for this young man by his side. I had a spike and bat. I could have. I could have. I could have. I don't know. I could have ran at him. I could have. I could have. I don't know. I could have like before something happened. I before he was shot. I could have stopped the guy. Well, there's certainly a lot of things that we could have done, but. You know, hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? You could do so much more if if only we had been this way or, or been that way. And sometimes we just we just can't control how we how the situation is is gonna turn out. And I think you behaved very admirably under the circumstances. Yet 
You were right by this young man's side, offering everything that you could. And you don't even know him. I, I, think I, mean, I do, we, though. We, I we, think we, I do. Have you ever looked at someone and just been like, man, that energy? I don't know. There's something about him that I, I just... There's no way I knew him, though. Because when I, I suggested the suggestion box to him, I, and we had that conversation, like, he didn't... Oh, honey. I don't know. He didn't... Oh, honey. Oh, baby. And she reaches in and she she hugs him. It's all right. It's going to be okay. It's okay. I know. It's... It, it was very sudden. Very sudden. Do you want... Do you want to say a few words? To, to the guy? Yeah. Is he still in there? I would assume. No, I don't... I can't do that. That's weird. I, I'm good. Let's just... Okay. Let's just go inside. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be right here with you. And, and we, we will we'll just wait together. Uh, you head into the lobby. Um, and when you arrive, I think probably a, a nurse or two will actually approach you both because you're both covered in blood. Um, and, and tell you that uh, they're going to take you to another room so that you can sit and relax and, and get checked out. Um, are, are, are you together? Uh, yes, we, we arrived here together oh, okay. in the ambulance. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put you in this room right over here, okay? Oh, all right, but, thank you. And, and another nurse will be with you shortly. Do you have any um, coffee or anything anywhere? She smiles at you. It's kind of a comforting, knowing smile. Absolutely. Do you, do you take it with cream or sugar? Oh, just black, thank you. Just black. And you, sir? Uh, no, uh, no, thank you. How about just a water then? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Appreciate that. My pleasure. And she, she leaves. And you two are alone in this uh, kind of like waiting room, smaller room, um, while you wait for her to come back with the coffee. Do you do anything in particular while you're in here or do you just sit? You know, I always think that they have the silliest posters in these rooms. You know, who, 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 who is going to look at this blue whale and think, well, my day has just been lifted. Look at that blue whale. Who's going to look at the whale and think, my, my, what a positive experience this doctor's <laughs> office is now that they have 15 different types of whales on the, on the wall. You're kind of right. <laughs> they always have the silliest things on these wa- on the doctor's walls. Like, I don't Why are there care so about, many whales? about these whales. Uh, that's so dumb. So many. Yeah. Always with those dumb taglines, too. Yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be a, a, a great day. And then there's a picture of a cat or something, you know. And <laughs> what, what does that have to do with my early onset arthritis? <laughs> Wailt a minute. <laughs> like, wait, <laughs> like, that's not even close. Wailt a minute. Wash your hands twice before leaving. Like, come yeah. on. It's just, f- they're just full of it, you know. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's at this moment that a man steps into the, the room. He's an older looking man. He's got full angled brows and wrinkles from years of concern spreading out all over his face like vines. His lips are cracked, his skin dry. He's the very definition of weathered. His gold spectacles are quite unique. The lenses occasionally appear to be tinted sea green, and when light catches in them, it ebbs and flows. A knock, knock. Hello? Hello? 
step into the room fully. Uh, I'm Detective Reckon. Uh, I'm here with the Baton Rouge PD. Um, I'm, I'm very sorry to come so suddenly. Uh, I know you were a part of the, the robbery. Oh, yes. Do you have time for some questions? Uh, I, 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 sure, I'm, I'm of, I would say, probably stable mind right now to answer some, some questions. If maybe you could not press Mr. Dex here so much, though, he's not doing so you're well. You're very, you're very sweet. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Are you, can, Are you sure? Yeah, the whale thing, really. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I don't know. That, good. I'm, I'm fine, but I, not fine, but you know what I mean. You can ask. Whatever you need to ask. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, um, do you, do you need a change of clothes or something? And and I point like to clearly your bloodied clothes. I think both of you, yeah. right? I know Dex uh, is Dex bloody. Dex is yeah, shirtless, got, actually. Um, yeah, he's carrying his no, shirt and nothing. his beanie, and it's all covered in blood. But yeah, he's covered in blood. Perhaps you'd be more comfortable with a new shirt. Yeah, I'll, I'll take anything right now. Nurse! Nurse, please! Oh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, nurse comes right by. She's got a stack of, um, what is, what are those called? You wear them in the hospital. Gowns? Gowns, yeah, so she's got a stack of gowns, and so she'll, she'll kind of, like, stop and look and go, oh, oh, and she recognizes you, uh, and, oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, I'm so, I'm so sorry. And uh, she gives you two gowns. You don't have to wear it. I know you're not a patient. Are you? Were you hurt? Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, not not physically at all. No. <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, if you if you're getting cold, and I set them down, did they get you coffee or tea or soda or anything? I'm looking around to see if they have. They they offered, so I think I think there is a nurse here that was going to give us some uh, refreshments. How long ago was that exactly? I just want to know to see if I need to get on anyone's ass for you. Oh, probably just a couple minutes now. All right. If they're not here in a couple of minutes, I'll go out and get some for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm again. I do apologize for being here right after an incident, but. Memories are freshest when just experienced. Of course, you do what you have to do, detective. Yeah, yes. ask away. Well, first, um, as I said, I'm Detective Reckon, but uh, names, uh, that would just be names and where you're from. Uh, are you from out of town, uh, that sort of thing? And I point to you, Dex, first. Uh, my name's Dex. Um, it's really just Dex. Uh, do I have to give you my last name? You you don't have to if you're not comfortable, sir. Okay. It's all yeah. right. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm from here. I've lived here the past ten years. Um, from New Newport Beach, California, originally. Oh. And uh, I live about ten minutes away from here. I oh, gotcha. Okay. And you, Miss. I'm Autumn Bradbury. That's my full name. Autumn Bradbury. Oh, that's that's B U R Y at the end there. Might be uh, scribbling uh, this down on a notebook. Uh, uh, born and raised Baton Rouge. Wonderful. No, that's. I may have seen you at the coffee shop before. Now that I think about it. Quite possibly. Well, let's start from the beginning. Um. What, what did you witness? As many details as you can possibly give. I don't want to lead you to any questions, so tell me your story, what happened to you, and and all that. Um, Autumn, we can start with you. Oh, goodness. Um, uh, uh, where, where do I begin? Do I just start at, at the, at the, when I woke up, uh, what kind of day it was? Whatever makes you the most comfortable, dear. Well, all right. Um, let's see. I, well, I was thinking about uh, coffee, mm. and um, I had just been at the bank, and they had 
Well, they had denied me a loan for a very important part of, uh, uh, of house remodeling. You see, I wanted to expand into the backyard because I felt that I might just not have enough room in my home for things anymore. They do that. They, they really do. do it. It's annoying. They do, and, and they they denied me. And I and I what the, what was the gentleman's name at the bank? I believe it was Christopher. Mm. I will never forgive him. He was just not. He was a very rude man. I'll avoid him next time at the bank. You should avoid him, and, and maybe file a complaint. All right. Yes. Definitely. Oh, Where after was I? after that. Right. Okay. Then I got on my scooter and it was a particularly hot day. So I was thinking about coffee and I was wondering, well, maybe I should take it iced, you know, because right. iced coffee is quite refreshing. They and I remember, I, I do love coffee, Dex. I, it does make the day. Well, it's better than looking at pictures of whales, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So I was on my scooter and I realized how hot I was and there were a bunch of vehicles that were just blaring their horns at me and I was on my way to the DMV because, well, to be honest with you, detective, I had gotten pulled over many times before for saying that I was going too slowly on my scooter. And I do think that there should not be such a thing as, go as going too slowly. You know what I mean? I was just trying to enjoy the day. Sure. They, I feel like they should in install more bike lanes for that exact They really reason. should. They really should. I feel like maybe I was just a, a, a bit put upon. So I ended up at the DMV and I sat down right next to, to this gentleman right here. And she gestures to the decks. And we would we were fast friends. Fast friends. I, I do I do say I've I I don't clearly see auras often. Uh, uh, detective, but but you this young man auras. right here. Oh, y yes, yes. Um, as long as I have my crystals in my pocket, sure. I, I can see auras quite clearly. And this young man has a very strong one. So what, what we color were... aura? Sorry if that's too personal. Oh, well, his, I would say, is very silvery. It's kind of like when you look at a full moon at night and you, you see the ring kind of around the moon, you know, on a very clear night. Yes. Where all is, is, is just black in the sky. You can see it so clearly. It's very much the same with people, Detective Reckon. And it's the same with Mr. Dex here. So, right. a quick so he has an aura. And we watched this young man uh, go up to the counter. I, I suppose it was, it was unfortunately the, the recently deceased. He went up and, and I believe he was trying to make a special case for himself when he was in the line. Yeah. Ah, uh, one of those, okay. Now, I'm sorry right. to interject here. I'm, I'm yes. very sorry to interject here, miss. When was it, when you went, to, did you go to the bank after the DNV? Uh, no, no, it was before the DMV. All right, all right, continue. I'm Sorry. just trying to, uh, you know, just uh, cross off the uh, the grocery list of things that I had to do that day. Okay. Now... No, I'm sorry. You continue. I'll ask questions afterward. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. I want to make sure that you have a good flow of, of consciousness without yes, me. Yes, of course. I don't well, want to influence you in any way. <laughs> no, it's all right. I, I I get pretty distracted quite frequently. So let's see, where was I? So this young man was going up to the line, and I think he kept insisting that... <laughs> pardon me, I'm, I'm working over a cough right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, he, he kept insisting that they take his number, but but in fact, he, he was he was skipping a bunch of people. And I thought, you know, that's just ridiculous when you can't Utter. skip a bunch of people at the DMV. Absolutely. They have lines and rules and all of this for, for a reason. So so then now I, I I'm trying to trying to remember this the best I can. A, a, a man comes in with I think uh, 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 kind of like a, a briefcase, maybe, and he and he's carrying it, and he's kind of tall. He's got blonde hair, and then he just fires uh, six shots 
uh, in, into the air, and now I know what gunshots sound like, Detective. They, it's right. very unmistakable gunshots. We, we should make sure the nurses checked your hearing after this, that if you were close by, that could actually <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, right. I'm I'll already sure hard of, of hearing, so, you know, <sighs> it, it was it was quite a shock. So, um, where he fires, and, and then he goes up to the counter, and I can't hear what they're saying, but they're saying something about you got uh, you let me in. I'm gonna see the vault, and I'm I'm back here thinking, the DMV has a vault. I mean, this isn't a bank; it's a <laughs> DMV. But but sure enough, they have a vault. So they took him back there, and. And, and Dex and I are just sitting out there with our mouths hanging open, like, what, what is going on? And he disappears, and, and, then, and then there was this woman. Now, I can't remember her very clearly, but she looked like she didn't want to be there. I mean, no one wants to be the DMV. No, not at the yeah, no, DMV. Never, no one ever wants to be there, Detective. So this woman... I, I, she, 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 I think she was also uh, of, of, of law enforcement. She pulls out a badge and a gun. And, and so then she says to me and Dex, I, I need backup. And I'm thinking, well, this is like one of those comic books that I get to be backup for law enforcement. Oh, like so I grab a fire extinguisher. Now, Dex, what was it that you grabbed? I can't remember. You, you have something. I legitimately, I mean... As fast as I could, I I made a a bat with nails on it and duct tape, and yeah. I wrapped it around. And I had like a it was a zombie killer kind of weapon. Yeah. It was um yeah, it was incredible. That's rather impressive. He, yeah. I mean, he made he just fashioned this right right before our eyes, and I'm thinking, right. well, this this is a man clearly that I want to be with, you know, if some I some would some other place gets robbed, right? So, um, so you know, I'm behind decks. I've got a fire extinguisher. And I'm just holding it because I don't know what else to do with it at that point. Detective, I was scared out of my wits. So right. we 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 hear these people coming down the hallway, and uh, and then that that yet yeah, that young man, who who uh, considered himself a special boy, comes around from the counter, and he's just he's standing there, and it's so unfortunate because they they have an interaction, law enforcement, and then this this robber. And she says, uh, uh, I, 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 give, give, give me the, the gold bar. I think there's a golden bar it's involved. A gold bar. It was a gold bar. It was a golden at bar. At a DMV. At a DMV. And, and we're, we're just wondering what the hell is going on. Pardon me. I should have, I should have made a move there. I sh that's where I should have done something. Now see, Dex keeps, he keeps saying he should have done something different. And I'm, I don't think we sounded like you did everything I you think could, we sir. were doing everything we could. We were so scared. So then she gives this man some kind of, and now it looked like a tube, maybe not, not much bigger than a tube, a lipstick, but quite possibly like a, uh, brass or gold or something. And, 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 and then they exchange it. And, <laughs> and then pardon me officer. I, <laughs> This is where everything gets very foggy because I think he just shoots that that special man up at up at, up at the counter, and the man falls, and uh, and then the other. For no man, reason though. He didn't. Uh, uh, yeah, you no reason at all. He just happened to be there. He wasn't moving or anything. He was just doing what exactly what they asked, and he just he shot was, him. He was just doing. He was just following the rules, and, and then, and then they just they disappear. I can't rightly remember what happened to them because all I remember was just running over to the man and, and trying to stop the bleeding and, and, and I, I couldn't. And, and then the woman tosses me a cell phone and says, call call uh, emergency. But she so, is emergency, so it doesn't make sense. That's she was why a cop. I was so confused Wait, was that she, she, she gave me cop? the cell phone. <laughs> the so woman, she, the woman yes. that was with you, the one that leaves, she was a cop. She was a cop. She said she had a badge. Yeah, I don't know. She, she, she said, "Follow me. We'll take care of you." Yeah. So, uh, you you know, I, I called nine one one, and they said to stay on the line. And we tried to apply pressure um, to the bleeding, but he just wouldn't stop. I mean, it was, it was it was just soaked through. It was bad. I mean, look, look at this. Look at my hand. I show my shirt. Look. Dex gave his 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 clothing for the for this young man. So, so you know the ambulance shows up, and I just sure. don't know what happened to anyone else. I 
I was just focused on on trying to help this young man live, but I don't know. I don't know if we did well, or what we did if, if that was enough because I think he died too soon, too soon. And that's really, I think, all I remember was just trying to help this man survive on his way to the to the hospital. Is that? Does that answer your questions? That that answers a lot of them. Thank you. Dex, was it? Yeah, Dex. Does does that line up? Was there anything different that you recall? I mean, for me, it just didn't make sense. The everything that she said lined up. My my morning was a little different. I mean, nothing crazy. I uh, just woke up and ha- had to get my real ID. So stupid they do that. I want to go visit my parents in December, and you got to get this real ID. It's so dumb. By October, I don't know. Uh, otherwise, you need a passport. I don't have a passport. I'm like, I'm not leaving the U.S. Come on. No. Um, uh, I. I just don't understand why she left. That's what doesn't make sense to me. She was she? there. Who is yeah, she again? The cop. The cop. Or All right. The one with the badge. She left. Okay. She left us. I mean, she literally left. Not disappeared, like vanished, but she No, said, but she left you. She left us when no she was the one. No cop would do that. She was the one who was helping. It's like they knew each other. Yeah. It's like they, they nope. literally yeah. were making a, a trade kind of like, yeah, oh, they, you want they this? I got knew this. each other. Yes. And then they shot him for not, like he wasn't even moving. He wasn't even squirming. He was just doing exactly what they, it made no sense. It was like a shot and then they handed it off. And then she said, call the cops. And and then she, she shot him. She shot the guy who she just made a trade with. So they made this trade and she shot him in the, shot him like, uh, I don't even know where she shot him. She just shot him. That's That's right. Oh, she did shoot him, yes. Oh, so why did he die? Why did how did they know each other? Was this a deal gone wrong? No. At the DMV, we're not at a bank. We're at a DMV. No. Yeah. Why is there a vault at a DMV? What kind of a vault? <sighs> Miss, sir. I, I I hate to say this. And I'm going to make sure a nurse checks in on you, but I think you're in shock, which doesn't surprise me. You you witnessed death. You witnessed a robbery. But this occurred at a bank. There, there was no robbery at a DMV today. This was a bank robbery. A vault was broken into. Uh, what do you mean? Well, well, no, sir. No, it was it was we, a DMV. They had the music. There was. The, what do you mean? There, I, there I were, mean it. It was a bank, sir. We we have been trailing when, this burglar for quite some time. He hits banks. Well, then you must have looked at the the wrong building or something yeah. because they were calling out numbers and they were calling out numbers for DMV. They don't do that at the bank. We both got our numbers. Yes. We had, uh, I had my like number seven. was 89. In fact, I can show you my number. And she reaches in her pocket. Now see here, see here, look. It says 89 on it. Now they don't give out numbers, do they? At, the, at a bank? No, you just wait in the line. Are you trying to tell me that we weren't at a DMV and for, when in fact we were? Yeah, why would I, I go at, to a bank if I needed a real ID? If I go, I was I, at I don't the bank have... earlier. I mean, miss, you, you did go to the bank, but, and I pause for a moment and find the radio in the corner and click it on. It's all over the news. I'm calling it the Worldwide Hum. Check out his Hum Map Data Project. To date, some 17,000 civilians and scientists from around the world. 
residents of there we go. Rouge were subjects to extreme violence today after reports of an armed robbery at a local Voda bank this afternoon. The subject was apprehended <laughs> after firing <laughs> six it wrong. into the air. However, an officer already on the scene. How could they have gotten this so wrong? It was at a DMV. We were we were at a DMV, sir. I, and I know I'm I definitely am in a state of shock. I, I'm I'm definitely not in my mind fully, but I'm a hundred percent sure we are at a DMV. Yes. Uh. I am muted, so I will do that again. <laughs> the motion activated lights of the morgue remain off. It's cold, empty, and everything is clean and sterile. The faint hum of refrigeration is accompanied by a distant radio. Several rows of mortuary tables are closed, but table 87 remains open, displaying the dead body of a man we all recognize and know as Lucian Long. The room is still for several minutes until he jerks up, gasping for breath, coughing violently, <clears throat> clutching at the table and the sheet. Am I wounded? What do you see when you look down at your chest? My normal chest? You don't see a wound? No. Then you don't have one. Okay. And there's no one else in here? No, you are alone. Am I nude? Yes. Are my glasses <laughs> around? Um... When you look around, you will notice there is a bag uh, down at the bottom, and it, it it looks like it's an evidence bag. It's a Ziploc bag with some of your belongings in it, your phone, your glasses. Uh, there is a second bag with your shirt uh, and your the rest of your clothes. My shirt covered in blood? Yes. Oh. All right, well, I put my glasses on first and take a better look around because I couldn't see very well. Look at what I assume is, is the inside of a morgue. I doubt I've ever really seen inside of a morgue before, but I've watched enough television shows to recognize. Oh, yeah. It's exactly where um, you are. Okay, well, I'll... Scamper across to the bag. Okay. Covering it's just my down bits. By your, yeah. And I find my underwear and put it on. Okay. My trousers, my shirt, and my stuff. Like, I, my, uh, I had a suitcase, a little mini suitcase, no. and a satchel bag. That's not there. Unless you had your satchel bag on you when you got shot, then unfortunately, no. I think I did. Okay. I think I would have done. I then, don't know why I wouldn't have had it on. Then your satchel bag is with your with your things but what is missing is your wallet my phone's there your phone is there yeah you did not give it to the masked man and what is the is the time and date the same day mm -hmm. how much time about has a, passed about two two hours since i guess you arrived at the dmv and you were patting your phone aggressively you probably checked the time there and about two two and a half hours since then Okay, I will... Uh, do I have any messages or anything? No. I don't think you told anyone you were coming here, did you? I don't, I don't get that many messages anyway. Just wondered. Put my uh, phone in my pocket. I guess... Uh, what 
What are you thinking do I have a about? Tag right on now? My, do I have a tag on my foot? No, you do not. But or anything the, like that. There is a yeah. number on the bed that you were on. What is the number? Uh, 87. Yeah, of course it is. I knew that already. Um, what am I thinking? I am yeah. super confused. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm thinking, but it doesn't make any sense. I clearly had some sort of dream or... Or... I'm curious, I'm, I'm curious as to whether outside of this door there is a hospital or a morgue or something strange going on. I'm assuming I had some sort of panic attack, freaked out, and I, and I dreamt up and made, out, made up the part where I got shot, but my shirt is covered in blood and I'm, I'm trying to piece that together. But for now, I, I, I'm going to be pragmatic and figure out where I am and see if I can uh, get myself... I, I think I would be concentrating on getting myself a new shirt. Okay. Um, oh, that's really... And it's not... I'm going to focus on something small and simple and acquirable, and I, that's going to be my focus, to get myself a new shirt. Once I'm in a nice, clean, pressed shirt, I can figure out precisely what happened to me and maybe go and, go and check into my hotel. Okay. So yeah. as you... Um are thinking this through, what is your first step here? Are you going to try to get out of the, the morgue that you're in right now? This, like, area? Are you going to just I'm walk out? Yeah, I'm you're just going to walk out? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you're going to head up the elevator? There's an elevator? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you're on the... You've never been I don't know where I am, but yeah. I'm, uh, I'm leaving the whole room, yep. place, thing, to, and I'm looking for someone who can give me some information. Okay. Um, you know, unless I spot like what looks like a room where my stuff would be, you know, like if I walk out and there's like a clear like room that's like stuff that belongs to Lucian Long, you know. Well, I think really you would obvious, find it. But... I mean, I think you would find the bag that is tagged evidence and it has your name my on bag. Well, it's a Ziploc bag with your things in it that you were pulling out. It had your clothes, oh, but it right, was all that. labeled evidence. Yeah. So I think that would probably strike. Oh, it strike. is labeled evidence? Yes. Okay, well, it's not evidence. It's my things, so I'll take all my things back. Okay. And then that's my little satchel bag that I have, and I'll take that back, my clothes, and then I want to find... I need... My my clothing is in my suitcase, my little mini... Yes. ...silver Samsonite or whatever it's called. Yes. It was suitcase. in the DMV, but when the everything happened and he he kind of had you at gunpoint oh, and took you. bloody hell, it's still in the yeah, bloody DMV. it's still in the DMV. I've got to go to the bloody DMV with a bloody shirt. Bloody hell. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So that's your plan of action. Okay, so... I'm not thinking of anything outside of that. <laughs> Singularly focused on the small, manageable parts of whatever is going on. Are you thinking about the incident at all or are you focusing Absolutely. just on the next step i think i think uh i think for now i can't explain what has happened and it definitely obviously was some sort of strange dream or manifestation i've never been in a situation like that before and um i mean i have been in a situation that has has left me with adrenaline and fear and a rush, you know, like I've, I've witnessed things never to myself directly, but I've been in situations would have left me feeling very um, stressed out and anxious and nervous and, and panicked, um, but nothing that intense and nothing so direct. Clearly that state that I was in led me to believe or pass out or something. And in my dream, half dream state, I had imagined being shot can't really explain the blood here. Maybe someone else had been shot. I don't know exactly. But I'm alive. I'm fine. Clearly, I've imagined it, you know, and I've... Okay. And I've ended up here somehow. I'm, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on. But I'm not dead, and I do need a new clean shirt, and then okay. I can work on figuring... I've got a lot to figure out, but I'll and I'll get there piece okay. by piece and step by step. Uh... It's at this time we see the elevator. So Lucien calls the elevator. Uh, but on the other side, on the ground floor, elevator is being called to head down to the morgue. And uh, on the other side of that elevator is someone we recognize. She has an asymmetrical cut and a scar along her face. 
She's wearing scrubs. She looks both ways down the hallway to make sure no one has noticed her before she hits the button for the elevator to go down to the morgue. I see her. No, oh my. you are down in the morgue. Oh. That's what we God. see. Yeah. Okay. The elevator hits the ground floor first, and Lore will, I assume, get on the elevator and ride it down to the morgue. The door opens, Lucian, and you see her. Okay, this is now the scene from Terminator 2 where she falls onto the bank and starts running, like crawling away. I think I would definitely be very scared of this person. And I, uh, I think I, do you know what? I think I would li maybe run back into the room. I think I would run back into the room that I was in if I can. I think I would just okay. turn around and yep. run away from her. I'm gonna chase after him. Okay. Sir, I'm gonna need, sir, you gotta calm down. It's gonna be okay, sir. I'm gonna need you to just take a few deep breaths. Just breathe with me, in and out, okay? There's no, why are you alarmed? You stay away okay. from me. You stay, stay away from me, please. Sir, I'm here to help. I don't, I don't know why um, you're acting you're the, like the, you're, you're, the, you're the, the accomplice. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm going to get into the lift, and I'm going to leave now, and I would appreciate it if you'd not follow me. I'm going to motion for his arm to kind of, in, I, I in like a way of to help, like, I want to help you to the elevator. I won't tell anyone that you're here. I'll never tell, tell them, anyone tell that I saw you. I'm just, I'm glad you're doing okay. Okay. Um, but what are you going to tell them? I, I, I'll, I'll simply say that I didn't see anybody at all here, and I, I, I'll say that I don't even recognize, I, I don't know who you are, I never recognized your face. I won't tell. I don't know that you have anything to tell them. Pre precisely. And if you were to tell someone, what would you tell them? There was, there was, there was, there was some, somebody else there, I don't recognize their face. There was a terrible man in a mask. And that you were never here. Um, what do you, what do you mean a man in a mask? But, uh, well, the, I'll say, I'll say, I don't recognize, I don't know how he sounds or he looked or, or what you were doing or why, why you were there. I'm looking at him, and my face has gone pale. Uh, where are you going now? I, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to leave. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to, I'll leave. I, I, I don't have to go to the police. I can just go back. I can go and I'll, I'll check. I'll, I'll get on a plane and I'll leave the whole country. I, um, how did you get here? I don't, I don't, I don't remember it here, this country, on, on a plane. No, 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 how you got here to the morgue, how, what's the last thing you remember? I, I, I don't, I passed out, I think. You just passed out? I don't Lucinda, are I got, you yes, actively, I believe so. are you actively avoiding thinking about this? Not really. Okay, then roll. Just a regular roll on your sheet. Ah. <sighs> uh, so, can you go ahead and narrate and describe to us the memory from Lucien's perspective? Because you're about to remember it very vividly right now. Hmm. Um, so I recall... <sighs> Going from, from zero to 100 in terms of adrenaline, there was an extreme rush of adrenaline and anxiety and fear almost as soon as that person started firing a gun. And then that was elevated and, and held there the entire time that this person was barking orders and trying to get the um, woman at the DMV to open the door and go to this, this vault, uh, the safe. And I remember just over and over thinking I should just be compliant and I remember damning myself for not being more socially adept 
um, or maybe even more social in the past so that maybe I could uh, convince him of things um, a little better. And then he had me doing things and I and, and then it, it's patchy with fear and these jumps and he was ordering me to do things, open this safe, things like that. I remember thinking that I might be able to lie to him um, and I can tell him that the response time for the police is only something like 11 minutes, something believable and short enough that it might panic him into leaving um, and getting out of there. Um, I remember being compliant. I remember there being this woman. Then chaos. I remember being on the ground suddenly. I remember that I didn't feel any pain, but it felt like I'd been punched in the chest and I, I blinked and then I was on the ground kind of looking up when I looked down at my shirt, it was it was stained in red and, and becoming redder, which was my blood. And then, to be honest, I think I remember waking up here. Thanks. You start uh, coughing really heavily. It feels like something is lodged in your rib cage. <laughs> okay, are you okay? And I'm gonna start patting his back. I'm like Just... backing away from her. I'm fine. <sighs> yeah. I'm quite fine, please. He continues oh, yeah. to cough and <laughs> double over uh, and starts heaving until he spits out a golden bullet. And it is crushed and spent. I was already pale. And now it's just like I'm a shade of white. I drop it on the ground. Mm, I bend down and I pick it up. <sighs> you should keep this. No, no, no! I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I think you should. You you can dispose of it. I promise. I don't. Oh no, no! This is something I think that you might want to just hold on to for a while. Of course, yes, I'll take it. And I. I don't. I don't want to die, please. I don't, please. If you would just let me go, I'll do anything I, that you ask. I am not here to hurt you. I'm checking on you. Yeah, how is, um, on me. how is your, uh, your chest? <sighs> Rather uncomfortable. Well, um, if you'd like to leave. I step back and I motion towards the elevator. And warily move past her to the elevator. Which floor do you choose? I fucking spam a button. Beep, anyone. Any three. Just a whole hand print on the elevator. Buttons, I, yeah. Rule of I, three. Yes, go I ahead. get on the elevator with him. Oh, fuck. And I just, I stand quietly next to him. I back all the way up against the wall away from where you are. I'm like gripping the bullet in one hand. What are you thinking about as you grip this bullet? Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this person's going to kill me. I don't know what they want from me or why they're, they're here again. Um, they're clearly trying to, you know, cover their tracks or something, tie up loose ends. Uh, I'm extremely confused. I'm a little bit thinking I might still be dreaming. I've had very... Um, pardon the pun, lucid dreams before. Um, and I think maybe in the back of my head, it's not even just a, uh, a thought, it's more of a hope, kinda. There's a little bit of hope that I'm actually just dreaming all this stuff and that I'm in uh, I'm in some sort of weird waking dream. Um, yeah, I think I, I, I'm pretty convinced that she's finding the right place to kill me to make sure that it looks like she didn't murder me and I died naturally or something. I'm just waiting for her to take her shot, you know, and I don't know what it is. What is she doing? I don't look back because I, I feel him recoiling from me and stepping back to the elevator. So I just keep looking straight ahead. So they ride the elevator all the way to the top yeah. and hit ground floor. We and hear right, the... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, right no, before please. The, right before the doors open, I'm going to say um, the accent. I'm here to help you. What? That's actually where we'll take our break. What the fuck? 
I have no I fucking idea what's going on. What is happening, dude? <sighs> it's so what's scary. Going on? <sighs> I hope I'm still in my right. Yeah, spot. you are actually. I noticed Oops. that, but it's because yeah, when you're the last one to join the clock call, it's it's fine. It's perfect that you okay, did that. Didn't mess I was like, oh shit, I turned off my camera. Yeah. I don't know if I was <laughs> no, it's like perfect. in the middle of the scene change, I was just like, I'm just like here on camera and I'm like Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> should, probably, uh, should probably make sure that's dark now. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break. We're going to stretch our legs, use the washroom, grab a snack, wash your hands, motherfuckers, and then we'll be right back. Pickle time. <laughs>
Well, I'm not too sure what you want from me, but I suppose um, thank you so much for joining us, and we shall see you after a short break. <laughs> And welcome back. Thank you for waiting. I hope you washed your hands. We're going to go ahead and dive right back in because we've got a bit of a shorter run time for this show. So we return to the room with the radio with Autumn and Dex and the detective, the police officer. No, it was... Definitely a bank. And like, most just holding my hand like to the radio, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, well, I'm not sure what to tell you either, sir. It appears that we're at an impasse. <sighs> yeah, there, there, I mean, there's just, there's just no way. There's no way. I, my, my car broke down outside, uh, uh, very close to the DMV. I took uh, uh, a lift the rest of the way. Like, there's no way. I know it's I know it's a bit odd, but could we get the car uh, license number? Um, just for the sake, so we could look into that too for you. If it's still broken down at this point. You're yeah, witnesses, uh, we want to take care of you. Uh, of course, it's literally my name, Dex. Oh, it's it just... D E X. Yeah, I had it custom made a couple years back. All right. Now, I'd like to know a little bit more. Well, just I believe you, DMV. I'm putting that in my notes. Maybe they got it wrong. Maybe there were two incidents and they haven't reported on what you've dealt with yet. Uh, I'm just going off of what I know, so this helps me, and I, I do appreciate it. Um, you mentioned a woman. She claimed to be a cop, but she shot the suspect. That's... I, I mean, he, he did shoot someone, true, but she traded, you said, a gold bar for a, a vial. But that's what didn't make sense. Right. She, that she was a cop. That's why she she must have been in on it. It's like one of those under uh, undercover heists where they, you know, she, she must have been working with the guy. She must have. Yeah. I mean, right? I think you're right. No, I do. That, well, well, that we're, we're not sure if it was a vial or not, but it definitely looked like something it's smaller. Small yes. Tube kind I of just thing. I don't know what it was. Right. Um. Do, do you remember what she looked like? Yes. Uh, well, she looked angry. She looked like maybe one of those young women who just wakes up mad. Just but wakes up on the wrong side of the bed. To, to give her the benefit of the doubt, she, she sort of was... She cared still. You know, I told her about my band, and uh, she said she was going to look it up. So I'm, you know, I mean, that's one more listener, right? Sir, I, do you think that she may have just been using you? Oh, no. Oh, not your band, X. Didn't, didn't you say she asked you to follow her? If she showed yeah, an but... interest. No, you, I mean, no, I don't think, you... I mean, if she knew this was going to happen, Maybe, but she seemed, all I was trying to say is she seemed like she cared in the moment. Maybe she's right. a great actress. Maybe. No, though, I, I, I believe you. I trust But my you. band's good. Like, we were good. Like, we had really good songs and, and like, made really good music together. So of maybe course. she, I mean, maybe she was, maybe she liked music. She seemed like the type, here's, here's the type she seemed like. I've, sure. I've. Tell me the type. I've been with many girls like that. 
she seemed like the type who's, oh, I'm quiet. Oh, I'm sneaky. Oh, I'm not going to tell you anything. And as soon as you break that wall, you know, you break the wall down, boom, you bust it down. She just lets loose and lets go. Right. Yes. Oh, she, she had a, a. No, I, I think I understand. What, again, what does he look like, though, physically? I, if she's a suspect, I need to know what she looked like, not just she her demeanor. A, the side of her head was shaved. Yeah, and, she, uh, she had and a I crazy think she was, scar. Just yeah, going. I think she was wearing, like, all black. That's what I mean. Uh, she was kind of a badass, right? And so when scar, she said she was, where, where was the scar? And how long? I I don't know. It I was think on it her, was over her... Over her eye? I left think eye? It was, uh, right eye? I think it might have been her, her I have, left eye. I know she left. had a scar on her face. Yeah. But she was oh. a badass. I mean, I I, th I truly thought she was a, a, a cop. I mean, the way she was so calm. I was going to escape. I wanted to leave. I was going to break the window and leave. And and I remember, I, I, think, I think she told me not to because, oh, my God, maybe she told me not to because she was in on it. I, she said not to leave because... What I, if there's have, other people? There's an inside operation. Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need you to just take a moment and breathe in and breathe out. I know this is traumatic. I have a question for you. Was her name Lore? Did we ever get her name? I have. I don't. Okay, if it, it may not be. That's all right. That's all right. I'm looking for someone that somewhat matches that description. Looking for someone. They are not a good person. Who well, are they? Uh, They're a criminal. This I mean, is so this is if so, that's them. Do you, I mean, do, she didn't seem. Uh, but like, uh, like you said, like is she? Manipulative she, is what she is. You may have witnessed a drug deal. Not at all. I don't remember. I've, I'm so shook from everything. Shit, dude. PB, you're muted. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I mute myself to the stream, and then I'm trying not to laugh. And sorry, so I'm muted. What do you need from me? I just need you to roll for me. Uh, she did actually give him his na her name, so I, I need to know if he's lying or not. Okay, and I was not. You're yeah, not lying. Not you're, you've it. just forgotten. So I just forgot. Um, great. So sorry. I have to it's pull okay. up. No worries. And where is that now? Uh, just your regular normal roll on your page. You can actually have a plus one. Got it. And plus one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so as you're telling him this and, and he's saying to you, you know, perhaps you witnessed a drug deal. Right. You remember her giving oh, shit. her name. Oh, right. shit. You can choose oh. to give that to him or not. But Absolutely. You do remember it. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm such an idiot. She she did tell me her name was Lore. Absolutely, were... sir. Yeah, 100 percent. I'm so sorry. I, I've been. No, no, no. It's uh, you yeah, her name is Lore. You because remember. Rem huh? You remember her name? Absolutely. It was Lore because I remember thinking, man, Lore's cool. I just thought she was so badass. I don't know why. And yeah, her name was Lore, 100%. You, you said you're not from here. Uh, I mean, you live here now, but you're not from here? You, yeah, you're not, not, not originally from here. Did you get here as a tourist? We, we were on tour, my band. Uh, we played about six shows. We're going down the south of the U.S. and uh, right. No, no, that's no. I, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This, this adds another layer of complication if she's involved. Why? She's a known criminal. I was hoping this was a one-off, but if she was working with someone and she shot him, she may have turned on him. But did you say taken everything? But it was just a gold bar. It was one. Why? Why wouldn't they take multiple? If we were okay, I'm just gonna 
go with you here. If we were at a yes. bank, right? Yes. We're at a bank, <laughs> which we weren't. Uh, if we were at a bank, why wouldn't they take multiple gold bars? Why wouldn't they take multiple things? Why just one? Most banks don't have real gold anymore. Maybe that was all there was. Easier to transport? I, I, I'm unsure of their motives. That's something I'll have to get her for. But if the gunman, the guy, if he, if he even felt, he didn't even raise his weapon really. Like he just got shot. It just happened like this. Yeah. But you said he shot some the other person. Who was that, by the way? You said there was one other with you. You said they. Yeah, I still, I still have his. I, yeah, I still have his wallet. He's the reason we're here. Yeah. And you, I'm, I'm terribly sorry to dredge this up. But you said he died. He was shot, in the. Ch yeah, he died when we were in the well, ambulance. Well, he was pronounced dead. I mean, th th right. that's that's just just. Same as dying, right? I mean, if they, if they pronounce you dead, that means you're dead. No, I, I understand. He was with you, though, yes? Yes. N not part of, uh, uh, not part of us, but he was he, yeah, within the he whole debacle. Yeah, he was Yeah, he was on, uh, he was just, uh, was unlucky. He was just the one that This is him, and I'm going to hand him the wallet. I definitely take that and fish through it. What all is in the wallet, uh, PB? Okay. Standard success. Yeah, what well, ID everything, everything in it. I'm I'm looking for the ID, but I also want to see like every single thing in there. And you're muted, PB. Oh, for fuck's sake! Sorry, I'll, I'm muted because I don't want to laugh on stream. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, they're too good, okay? They're too good. Okay, so you're looking through the wall, and yeah, I'm just gonna leave it unmuted. I'm sorry. You guys can hear me, so I'm, I might as well. Um, okay, so you, uh, you're flipping through the wallet, and I think so. The first thing that you notice is the ID, and do you, right. do you want to stop and look at that, or are you just absolutely okay? Um, Lucy, do you want to tell us what's on the ID? Um. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> This is a uh, an ID from England. It's a thing known as a provisional driver's license, which is, uh, I don't know if you have it in the US, but it's the license you get before you get a real driver's license. We have license. that, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have. So it's green. Um, I think, so it has my name. Uh, I think it would probably, I think it has my, uh, my um, British address in That's a Cambridge. full name, by the way. Yes. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so it just says um, Lucian Long, mm -hmm. uh, uh, born May 22nd, 1983. Uh, and then it has my address in Cambridge, England. Sure. Um, and then just a bunch of like numbers, right? And, and stuff that yeah, means the, things the to it. And there's a, a signature on there as well. Okay. Which is all okay. flashy. And then I'd go through the rest of the cards. And if there's anything else that stands out, I'll make a note of that. Otherwise, uh, you can give me another roll. Okay. Another success. Um, you find five hundred dollars. <throat> okay. And that's it. Hmm. All right. Um. Thank you. Uh, if you are okay with me holding this as evidence. Yeah, I mean, the, the guy's gone. I don't think he... It is evidence. Well, it, it is. It's tied to a, a pretty severe crime. Um, I have to make sure I bring this back to the precinct. Can you just do me a favor? Of course, Dex. Will you let me know if you find the person who did this? Like, well, he's dead too, but whoever Lore is, will you let me know if you catch her? Absolutely. I don't know why, I just, I don't know, stupid, but... No, 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 not at all. You're involved in this now, uh, unfortunately. You'll have to be kept in the loop. Thank you. And I, I just, I, I want, 
I don't know if you want to say anything, but I, I want to let you know we, we really were at a DMV. Yeah. Oof. So silly to think that we were at a bank. I mean, I was at a bank. Why would I go to another bank after I that? I understand the radio and everyone's saying, but everyone else who was there were at, we were we were. I mean, there was elevator music playing. There and was then, some gross misreporting going on if they're already saying that it was a bank because it was, in fact, a DMV. I, I do want to point out, though, even both of you said there was a vault. DMVs don't have vaults. This one did? Yeah, for some reason, this one had a vault. But DMVs also have cash registers and ATMs and or, or, or banks have those things and DMVs don't. There were no ATMs. I would remember that, you know? Right. No, of course you would. Yeah. Of course. Um, there was something that, that pointed out to me as I'm like fishing through my notes and going back. You mentioned something that stuck out to me and I was curious about it. The man who, not your friend, but the, the criminal who was shot by this potentially law woman. You said you followed the rules? Sorry? What did, what did, they, what did they tell you? Do you remember? Uh, he, when he came in? Just saw any, you said you follow, you had, you were following, was it him or was it Lore? But you said you followed the rules. Yes, he, he came in and, and demanded a, a bunch of things from everybody. Uh, he said, you know, uh, put it in the bag. Yeah, he made me, I, I put everything I had. I gave him my phone, my, my wallet, my, uh, my, 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 my receipts, my papers, my everything that I had, I, I, I put in the bag. I didn't give him everything that I had. You didn't? No. What'd you no, but, no, no, but you mentioned something. Well, that's... Uh, what, what did you... No, never mind. It doesn't matter. But you said he told you rules. Do you remember what they were? To get your hands up? Yeah. Uh, I, give us your stuff? Yeah, uh, pretty much. He just said he was... Quiet. He, he went up to the counter, and, and they, he demanded things, and they took him in the back. And then this lore woman, presumably, she then, then you followed her? Yes, yeah, and I then, mean, then we followed her. All right. Is the Detective Reckon looks really deep in thought now. His, his hand is up near his face. He's kind of chewing on his lip a little bit. He looks a bit anxious. When you followed her, was there... Anything else before they interacted? Anything else you can recall? Odd, different, out of place? A anything? Um, I think she asked him if, if he had it. She, she was wondering if if, if he got it. Uh, and that's all I heard, that I swear. That's all they said? She just said to him, do you have it? Uh, so and that, he handed... uh, uh, there, there, was, there was definitely a, a, a mutual recognition there. We were kind of on the other, s we were behind them, and all, all I was thinking was like, what should I do in this moment? So I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I don't remember. No, they didn't have any conversation, they just, had no, the they, hand off, and then there was a did. shot and a shot. What they was it? I don't know. I, I just know. I know they said some things to each other, and I, I just don't know what it was. What it was exactly? They made. Do you recall? I'm looking at Autumn now. Anything they said? Anything? Out of? Just? Do you have it? Oh well. Uh, he, he was kind of muffled. Because he was wearing a mask. Right. Um. Uh, yeah, it's okay. But, but, uh. I, I can't remember uh, um, much else. I'm sorry. All right. No, that's. 
Where's that coffee? The detective Yell out into the hallway. Seat. Yeah, he's uh, very agitated now. He yells out for a coffee. Uh, <laughs> You, are you all right? <laughs> just, just getting over a cold is all. Uh, you, any other details, please, anything. I have been trying to track her for so long and she has caused so much harm. I, I'm just trying to help you and, and help those around us. Well, um, I mean, maybe that phone is still on the floor of the DMV. The one that she gave. She she gave a phone? She threw a phone at me and said to call 911. You don't have it anymore. You left it there? No, I, it's still check, check there. Check your pockets. Just, do you have any, do you have it on you? Um. Maybe it was absently minded. Put it in your pocket. I don't know. Do I? Do I have it on you? You can roll, actually. Okay. And we'll find out. Uh, let's see. No, which one do I roll here? You can just roll the have... normal roll. I don't think I have the normal roll. I have one, two, or three. Oh, oh no, no. Sheet. So on your actual character sheet now, yeah, you should be able to uh, pop, pop bottom, open uh, Autumn Bradbury. Middle left. Yep. And okay, then... hold up. Hold up. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I still don't know where, where I'm going. Character. Right. Oh, where Brand it just new. says normal? Normal, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. And okay. then there's no bonus. Uh, you do not have it on you. No, I don't. I don't have it on me. It must still be there. All right, I'll I'll send a dispatch to look for it specifically if they're not already there. Okay. Who who is she? Why is she so bad? I haven't heard anything about her. Mm -hmm. I mean, we try to keep certain criminals a little less uh, notorious. You know how people are. You say the name of a criminal or a, or their nickname or whatever, and people get all scared about it. And yeah, uh, like Candyman. Yeah, right. And then people start thinking about it. Um, He's really agitated now. He's uh, <laughs> beating his uh, hand on his forehead, cursing a little bit. Close. Uh, 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 sir? Uh, uh, sorry, yes? Are you all right? I'm all right. Do you mind coming down to the precinct? There might be a little, a few more questions that we need to ask. Yes, of course, anything. Sure. Can I... Can I go home for a little and then... I prefer it if you not leave just yet. All right. We yeah. have to play by the rules. Well, what, what do you mean, play by the rules? We're going to switch scenes right there. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> In the lobby, exiting the elevator, we have Lucian and okay. Lore. I'll have as a napkin. In the lobby? Mm -hmm. So you've ju the elevator door has just opened. Are they in the lobby? They're in a room nearby the lobby. Okay. If you would like to see them, you'll have to roll. No, I'm, I'm oh, not okay. looking for them. I forgot they even exist. Okay. Um, why would I? I don't know who they are. Yeah, uh, yeah that's true. <laughs> I mean, you I, only uh, held your hand while you were bleeding out in the ambulance. And, yeah, but I'm uh, about yeah. to die. All right, fair <laughs> enough. I'm currently being murdered. By someone. Um, <laughs> I'm worried about these random people as much as I appreciate that they tried to help me. Um, I don't remember the ambulance, by the way, just for the record, because oh, I woke okay. up in the ambulance, but I don't recall that. Okay. Um, so I'm not stepping out. I'm seeing if she leaves. Uh, I was ahead of him, so I walked out of the elevator first, and I think I stop in the lobby, and I look around. And I'm already closing the doors and going to another floor. <laughs> <laughs> Do I, I hear him doing that? Oh right? yeah, like, for I sure. Hear... You hear the ding and the like door starting to close. So it's up to you if you're gonna chase after him. 
I look back and as the doors are closing, I'm just going to tell him, be careful. And I'm shaking my head at him. Do you wait to see what floor he goes to or do you just leave? I'm going to see what floor he goes to, but I'm also going to um, look around the lobby. Okay. And. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, everything seems to be going as expected. There's nothing crazy. You don't notice anything super wild, but your spidey sense is tingling that there is another player on the field. Okay. Um, so while I'm looking at what floor he and he's going to and what it stops Lucy, on. what floor did you go to? I assume, you know when like you just hit all the yeah. buttons? <laughs> you panic. It's going to go to whichever one is next, you know? Okay. I'm gonna I see don't know what that means. So, so I guess and... like, okay, I'll just roll and see what floor. <laughs> the first floor. You're going one I floor don't up. Care. Yeah, You're I don't going care what one floor, it is. floor one, up. One floor up is fine as long as I'm not near Terminator there. Okay. All right. You go one floor up. Lore, you see it go up one floor. Ding. And stop. <laughs> see the lore or the lore. I see the, the light linger on one. And um, I look around for a stairwell. Oh, yeah. There's one right nearby, actually. Right around the corner. Okay. You can just go um, up the stairs if you want. So I'm going to head towards the stairwell and I'm just as I'm walking, I'm still going to be because I have like a like my spidey sense kind of thing. I want to um, I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit more paying attention to sounds, voices also looking around while I'm headed to the stairwell. OK, um, you can roll. You can use a specific memory to help you if you'd like. Um, you will have to share it with the class. I think. I am going to use one. I have one for eavesdropping. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and relive this memory for us? So as I'm walking to the stairwell, I mean, hospitals are very sterile, but they always try to make the lobbies like a little bit more warm. I just kind of get lost in thought. And I remember this time when I was a kid and I was sitting in the basement playing video games, just kind of listening. I, I remember watching... I think it was like the Microsoft visualizer, just playing music and just thinking that was the coolest thing. And then I would hear voices upstairs. And slowly over time, they would get louder and louder to the point where it was no longer conversations, it was yelling. And there was this illusion uh, that this father of mine tried to give that I'm not like this. I don't get a temper. I don't get angry. But here he was yelling at my grandmother. They didn't know I was in the basement. They didn't know I was down there. So I just sat there and listened to it. And it didn't stop for a very long time. And when it wasn't going to stop, there was a basement door I could leave out of. And so instead of them knowing that I heard them, I went out the back door, and walked around the house, and went in the front door. Never since then, I've been able to hear things a little easier. You can add a plus two to this roll. Um, however, pick one piece of that memory that is unclear now whether it's the fact that you were in a basement or your dad was yelling at your grandmother, one detail you lose. Can I forget who the people involved were? Yeah, like it was your just voices yelling? Just, yeah. Yep. Okay. So to roll this, just a normal roll. So plus... yep, you're gonna do your normal roll and then you add two. Okay to the dice pool modifier. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, I just want to make sure nope, I do it that's right. that's okay. Uh, yep, so go ahead and describe you have succeeded at your task. Take it away. So as I'm walking towards the stairwell, I feel like I hear a voice that's very familiar to me, or one that I've heard before. And um, I hear 
the same kind of southern drawl of somebody that I met earlier, and also the the voice of somebody a little bit more frantic, but also I remember talking to, but I hear a very distinct voice, and I turn up, and I, I look in the direction to see if it's the person that I think it is. Oh, yeah. It looks like uh, he is leading it. What is he wearing other than his scarf? Dan, what is Reckon uh, wearing? He's not actually wearing a scarf. Oh, okay, not here. now. Okay. Um, but uh, it's he's got a nice vest, uh, a little V-neck under the vest, uh, and then a kind of a nice like cardigan. What time of year is this? I can't it's remember. August. August, yeah. So it's it's like a very light cardigan, just so he's not overheating. Um, and then he has spectacles and some nice jeans. Kind of right. like a plain clothes detective is what you'd expect. Okay, so he is walking out um, dressed that way, and in tow, he has with him uh, Autumn and Dex, who you recognize from the DMV. Okay, so I notice that he's with them. Do they, they don't notice me though, right? Um, no, you succeeded at your disguise role, unless you would like to be seen by one or more. You can choose. You were very successful. Savvy, I think it was, right? No, it was just a uh, yeah. Guy, yeah. I, um, but since I see him and I see he's leading the other two, because I know who this person is, I immediately duck into the stairwell and head upstairs. Okay. And you're headed to, to find... the first floor? Yeah. Okay. Lucian, you got to the first yes. floor. What did you do when you arrived? frantically looked for someone who works at the hospital some sort of staff member okay um you do you find a you find a young nurse uh, and he's carrying like a tray of um i'd say sterile medical equipment everything's wrapped it looks like he's headed somewhere you can stop him if you'd like uh, excuse me uh yes Yes, um, I, I, I was brought in um, not, not too long ago. I was involved in an, an incident, and I, uh, I, uh, I, I was brought in. I don't know where I can find my things. I, uh, I had a suitcase with me. It would be part of my belongings. Uh, right. Were you discharged? Um, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, usually, if we... Were you at the incident at the bank? No. Oh. All right. Well, usually we will we will send you your things if, if there's an incident, if it wasn't in the ambulance with you. We'll have somebody round it up. Usually the police will, will find that and, and they'll return it to you. But if, if it was here with you, then you have it. Uh, right. So there's no storeroom or somewhere that I can go or somebody that I can speak to to try and reclaim my, my, my things. Well, you'd it's have a suitcase. To... It's a silver Samsonite. Right, but I don't think it's they would small, have thought. Not a big one. I don't think they would have thought to put a suitcase in an ambulance. Did you come here in an ambulance, or did somebody take you? I'm guessing by I'm the your. Uh, I don't. Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I was unconscious. Oh, okay, I'm gonna assume that you came in an ambulance, but I, I doubt they put a suitcase in an ambulance. So, your stuff's probably, you know, back wherever it was where the incident happened. Where did you say the incident happened, sir? Right, very well. And um, do, do you suppose, m maybe think, um, uh, do you have the, the do, you, do, you, do you have any idea where I can go to um, uh, get out of the building with, without going out of the, the, the front entrance, a rear exit or something? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you gotta roll. <laughs> You gotta roll. Oh, yeah. Do you have anything that you can use to try to, I don't know, convince this guy that you're not supposed to be in a psych ward? <laughs> um. Mm. <laughs> Reputation. Yep. Was... And I'm a learned man. Okay. And so, so I can, it's can up... seem like I'm supposed, like, I don't know, like, other, a lot of people always kind of just assume that I'm I... some sort of reputable person. I come in and speak like this, so they, you know, and I speak well, quite knowledgeably about things. Right now, right now I don't. <laughs> 
True. But it's still a shirt and I was, yeah. you know, do you, I'm in a hospital. Do you so um, want to McDonald's. share one of those memories with us to give yourself a bonus? No. Okay. Do I have to? You would have to, yes. So if not, that's okay. You can go ahead and roll. Um, but it would be without a modifier. Oh, actually, you still have a plus okay. one. It's a loose thing anyway. I have a plus one anyway? Yes, you do. From something else. Oh, okay. Uh, then I won't. I, I, it's a, yeah. All right. So he maybe looks at you for a second. Uh, oh, I guess it can be a little bit traumatic going through through the front and busy and whatnot. Uh, you, you just go down the hallway um, to to the flight flight of stairs all the way down, and then there's a back exit right there. Right, yeah, that's you not going like to right. set off a fire alarm or something. No, no, I don't think so. Shit, okay. it might, but I, I doubt it. <laughs> yes. um, and there's absolutely nowhere lost property or something. I'm missing a wallet as well. Uh, well, that's weird. Your your wallet should be here. I mean, how, I'm assuming, did the nurse not give you a, a bag with your things in it, or? Uh, yes, yes, yes. But there's elements are missing. Is it very well could be there? Are you holding it? The bag? I'm not got it on. I'm like oh, kind of just. Oh, your bag. It, oh, okay, you're not yeah. carrying the evidence bag with your shit in it, is what I'm asking. No, I took oh, okay, all the evidence okay. stuff oh, off and okay, put it in okay, my okay. bag. And just checking before I totally ruin your life. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, okay, okay. Well, if uh, again, sir, if we don't have it here at the hospital, then probably the police will have it. Uh, you just uh, reach out to them. Yeah, file a report because it was an incident. Where, where did you say the incident was? Um, well, um, in Baton Rouge. Um, thank you so very much for your for your help. Um, yeah, well, I, I don't have my wallet, otherwise I would give you a, a dollar or two oh, or three. please, uh, sir. Uh, uh, no, it's my job. It's not, well, it's right, usually the custom here. It's but, not well. the custom here. It's considered rude here. Right, okay, well, right. I, I understand. Well, I, I've been to several places before where you have to Okay, well, down, down here, the, uh, we're just nice people because... That's the way you should be. We don't need yes, to get yes. paid to be good people. H have a good day, sir. You too. Thank you very much. <laughs> Go away. And now I want to do one thing real quick while I'm walking yeah. towards the stairway. Mm -hmm. Is there a hole in my shirt? Yes. Yeah? All right. I'm looking at that and and then I'm forgetting that as quickly as I can. I had actually assumed that you put your satchel to cover it. So those listening, I... Can no, imagine. I just didn't even look at it until oh, now. Okay, well then, yeah, there's a fucking hole in your shirt. It's covered yeah. in blood. Right, yeah, well, the whole shirt is covered in blood. I'm not trying <laughs> to hide the fact that I was shot <laughs> um, or anything like that. Um, I'm not really that bothered about what everyone else is thinking about me. I just want to get, out of get here. the fuck out of here. Okay. Yeah, before T-800 comes after me again. Okay. Um, so that's what I do. I mean, I'm going to do go where he said. Okay, so you head out. Uh, mm. Lore, when you slipped into the stairwell, were you going up after him, correct? I was. Yep, just go ahead and roll for me. Okay. Just I'm also going to, I'm actually, I'm, while I'm moving, I'm calling the lift. <laughs> I'm booking the oh, lift. You're, you're booking a lift on your phone. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yep, no worries. I can hook up my PayPal to that or whatever, right? Yes. So That's, I don't need my wallet? No, you don't need your wallet. It's probably oh, the already saved. Is great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it really is. Uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing all that then. On okay. my way. Okay, so you know, you're and I'm, I'm walking going to the DMV. and you're booking a lift to take you to the DMV. Okay. Yes. And Lore rolled, so go ahead and describe when you catch up to him, because you do. Oh my god. So he's coming into <laughs> the, the stairwell. stairwell. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my. And I'm just on my standing. Phone. <laughs> yeah, he's on his phone, like, <laughs> looking at it intently, and I'm just kind of standing there, <laughs> looking at him. Oh. What are you doing? I, I, I mean, I, I, well, I was, I'm trying to make, make sure that I can get out, out of the, the, this hospital. Yeah, I'll show you, you the way out. It's pretty easy. Like, there's a no, I, I, door I, I, I can take you to. Yes, I understand. I'm pre precise. Why were I'm you, going like, to... hitting the button like that in the elevator? Well, you were, I, I'm... Come on, accent. And then I'm going to turn around and start heading down the stairs. I'm going to turn the other way then and go out back. I'm going back to the elevator. 
if I fart, hear like turn power around, walking. I, I, I'm going to turn around, I'm going to roll my eyes, and then I'm going to follow him to the elevator and stand next to him while he's calling it. Um, perhaps you could, uh, perhaps you could explain to me what precisely is going on and, and what my role in this is. I, you, I'm, I'm not going to tell anybody that you, I promise I, I, I won't be telling the authorities of your involvement and I, I, I'm just going to go and get my things. Um, and then, then I'm going to change my shirt. Where are you uh, going to get your things from? I'm going back to the 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 the, the, the Department of Motor Vehicles with it. With, I, where my 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 suitcase, I left it there. You what understand else? when you, you you and your accomplice, you and your. I just look at him very quizzically. I um. <sighs> so you you're going back to the DMV. Yes, yes, I'm going to get my things, and um, well, this whole thing was a mistake, but I'm not even supposed to be here, really, I suppose, so I can just be, I can be gone, and, and, and I suppose nobody really needs to even know that I was, I was involved in this at all, you understand, I can just get back on a plane, I can go back to, well, I've come, I come, come from Norway, <laughs> from really, I don't need to go back to Norway, I'll go back, back to England. Listen, now. you don't need to explain yourself to me. I'm the last person you'd do that to. I'd just glad you're okay. I'm gonna, um, I'll walk out the front with you and then, um, I'll let you do your thing. Just, there's, just, there might be, uh, someone sniffing around, might ask you some questions. Just keep your, uh, yes. just keep, keep, I understand. Yes, maybe keep to yourself. Been... Yes, we can. Well, I, 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 perhaps we should go out. The, oh, you're correct. Yes, we should go out the front. Way yeah. with all the people. The you, elevator probably has arrived at this yeah. point, and I'm just going to walk in, and I'm going to turn around and see if he follows. Yeah, I'm like trying to hide my phone when she's not looking at me. Like hide it in my back pocket or something. Okay, but you do enter the elevator. Yeah. Okay. I know what's happening now. She's just making sure I don't run to a policeman and rat her out, and then she's going to see me out, and then you know, probably throw me into a van, take me to an alleyway, and stab me. But uh, at least I can get outside, maybe, and see where she takes it from there. Okay. I can tell that he's uneasy, right? Oh like, yeah. Yeah, like, he's not hiding that at all. <laughs> Freak out, sweating. He's got out my, sweat my stains. Hand, wringing like... my hands constantly, and what? yeah, extremely uncomfortable. Why are you so nervous? Well, 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 I'm not quite used to th this situation. Uh, not really being yeah, I know. involved I never, in a... I never thought. I mean, honestly, just you being here, I mean. Well, I'm not quite sure what, what, what you mean. <sighs> Listen, maybe, I don't know, it, it was a lot. It's been a lot, you know? So maybe just a little... You just go get what you need, and I'll catch you on the flip side or something like that. So of course, yes. We will catch you on the flip side. The elevator door opens. They stand there looking at each other for a second. Well, enjoy the sights. And I just start walking towards the exit. Are you going out the front where you saw? Yeah, I'm definitely going out the front. Okay. Lucien, are you following her? Yes. Okay. Um, it is at that moment you're walking out the front where you see the detective and Autumn and Dex walking out with him. You guys can roll to see if you notice. Dan, I we feel like roll? you, no, not you. you. You both walked out, so you see them. They're kind of sitting there while Dan is telling them they're going to head down to the station. So we should roll? You should roll, yeah. Dex and Autumn. Okay. I got a success. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. I failed. Kay. I didn't see him. Okay. So you Autumn two failed. don't notice him, um, but reckon you do. You notice Lore and uh, 
and someone she's with or someone who's following with her. And he's covered in blood, so. I'm going to look at Reckon. I'm just going to shake my head at him. I'd do the exact same to you and keep walking with the two with behind me. And I keep walking with my friend. It's okay. So where are you going as you exit? I'm just going to start heading down the street. I imagine the lift pulls up. Do you watch him get in it? I watch him get in it and I, I give him a salute. And I cross my arms and I just turn around and start walking along the side of the hospital. Okay. And Lucy and you take a lift to the DMV. <gasps> uh, that, uh, the back of the lift, by the way. Yeah. It's just, I just collapse. Yeah. Do you watch her in the rear view, like until you're out of sight? Yeah, and uh, doing one of those things, like as we drive away. Um, for sure. Okay. Um, so the lift, and just because I did see this in the chat, we're saying lift in reference to the lift L-Y-F-T, which we used in the first episode. So it is not just a taxi. Like Uber, he's, right? Yeah, it's like an Uber. Um, so he's calling a lift there just to make sure that that's clear. So he, he's taken a lift to the DMV, but we are actually going to pause with Lucian breathing heavily Sighing with relief out out uh, in the back seat of this lift, and we're going to switch back to Reckon, Dex, and Autumn. As they head out onto the street. Uh, uh, thankfully, the precinct is actually rather close to the hospital. Uh, just okay. makes sense. With the, so we can walk there. Get a little All fresh right. air. Yes, of course. It's a, well, it's kind of a hot day, so not really a lot of fresh air. Uh, the sterileness of a hospital can get to one, though. Mm -hmm. Still could use some coffee. I'll make sure we get it when we arrive. I'm okay, a little annoyed they didn't get you any. Wonderful. I hate to be that, that guy. I, I, have, I have to get to work in a like like an hour. I'm. Uh, I'm. I think. I'm, uh, I'll. I'll get you a note. Uh, an official note. Would that. Would that work? Uh, I mean. I'm pretty you're, important. You're not, uh, I'm. I mean. I'm <laughs> kind of a, a. I'm kind of a big deal. Like as far as like my job. Uh, oh. I'm. I'm like. I'm not the manager, but I'm right under the manager, and so. Uh, right. I don't show up. You know, I have to like make some schedules and stuff. No, I understand. Um, but I know, I know this is a big deal. I, I just, I mean, I know, I guess would work, but can I get paid when I have a note? You know, when we get to the precinct, I'll make absolutely sure we'll we'll get your work information down. I will call your boss personally and let them know you are aiding an investigation into a bank robbery and a murder. I would that that would probably look pretty good for you, I'd think. Yes, I will. I uh, yeah. I don't think I could. Could I add that to the, my resume? Sure. Yeah, that yes. that should be fine. That's, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I think I think he would he would accept that. Dex, can good. you roll one more time for me? It's a yeah, regular roll. Build. As you are walking along with the detective in Autumn, you feel your heart kind of pick up, race a little bit, and you glance over your shoulder as if expecting to see something, and you just see a car, a lift car that just drives by, but the windows are tinted and you cannot see anything. But it felt weird to you. You're all right, sir. Oh yeah, you know those like <clears throat> moments in life where you just I don't know. You feel like you, you saw something and, you, and then it was nothing. 
had one of those sort of like you know like you've you've done it before but i don't know oh I all the never... time like a, like a deja vu deja vu that's it we yeah. actually had a song called deja vu okay. i'm sorry i i'm i love music so much uh we had a song called deja vu and it was and, and all it was was we'd play the verse and the chorus and then we just play the verse and the chorus again and it was called deja vu because we did it twice i don't know right. stupid. I, I do love music <laughs> i'll have to look you up that's clever. yeah that, we never recorded that one i'm uh, unfortunately oh. but i can yeah i mean but it was cool because yeah. it's deja vu so i had that moment i was like i know that car no i don't like stupid <laughs> right no isn't deja vu where you you do know a thing but you can't place it no, deja vu is where you you have uh you know you 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 had a thing and then you have it again, but right. you're like, oh man, did I have that thing before? That's what I've. That's no, I my. Think, I think Webster's you're right. Dictionary no. version. <laughs> right. Yes, Webster's. Uh, yes. No, that makes sense. I think you're right. I must have. <clears throat> there it is. Um. So we're just gonna have to have you fill out some paperwork personal information um and again your recounting of the events any other details people you knew that sort of thing um it's just going to be a little more formal now uh, instead of just little old me writing notes in a notepad and That's after wonderful. that we can let you go about your day um and you're gonna call the mall for me the mall <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm a, I, I do security at the Mall of Louisiana. That, I wondered why you were so perspective, Dex. Well, I just uh, you could have made sure a good detective. Could have made a good detective. Ah, uh, after today, I don't think I could do anything like that. Oh, that's too bad. That's all right. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Okay. Well, uh, here we are. Um, and I kind of nod to the receptionist. Uh, the regular room available, Sandy? Oh, yeah, yes, absolutely. Go right in. Nobody's in there. Careful, Thank though. You. Benny took a big shit next door. You can smell it. You might want to get do the fan a, out, you know? Do we have a different room? Well, yeah, you can, use the, you can use the other one down the hall. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Is there coffee made? Please. No. She kind of gives you a look. Like, do I look like I'm supposed to just make you coffee? I, no, of course not. All right, we'll go to this room. I don't want you to have to deal with Benny's um, lack of... Anyway. Of course. Is Benny a, a cat? Does Benny do this often? No, it's just the restrooms rec lo relocated across from that uh, that room. And, I uh, had a neighbor once that was also incontinent. I swear, the bathrooms at my work are always, it's amazing. It's like someone walks in there and just poops and just throws it around like it's their birthday. I totally understand what you're talking about. Thank God we haven't dealt with that here, but uh, I suppose it's the first time for everything. We probably have multiple Bennies. You might. All right. Well, I'll get you some coffee if you want to wait in the room for me, uh, or tea, or soda, or. Just an, uh, I mean, what I don't kind of normally... soda do you have? If you don't mind me asking. Sandy, what kind of soda do we have? Oh, we have uh, cola, Dr Pepper, uh, root beer, uh, oh. Sprite. I would love a, a root beer if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Is there a w one for you too, Miss? You want a root beer? A root, root, oh, root. um, sure. Root beer sounds wonderful. All right, two root beers coming up. Reckon Thank you can you. get your own shit. Yeah, I will, Sandy. I lead them to the room and let them in and uh, walk off to get my own shit. Okay. You ever had root beer? Oh, many times, yes. Oh, it's so good. I, Actually, it's like... as, as a child, we used to make sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? 
Sarsaparilla. What's that? It's a little like root beer, except maybe a bit more... Sassy? <laughs> sassy, yes. Wait, really? Yes. Is that why they called it Sarsaparilla? That's a wonderful way to describe it. In fact, I think I might just steal that from you, Mr. Dex. Well, I'll give it to you. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's I love it. It's like root beer, except more sassy. Wait, I like I like sassy people, and I like root beer, so maybe I'll like sarsaparilla. Maybe. It's quite strong if you make it correctly. What? Like, okay. How do I do it? Will you give me a recipe when we get out of here? I sure can. I have one that runs in the family. You have a sasper. So wait, is it a thing? Mm-hmm. A family recipe goes back many generations. Oh. Cool. Wait, you're mm -hmm. gonna give that to me? Yes. Well, it's not a it's not a secret. Oh. It's, you know, it's just a tradition. Okay. I would love that. I don't have much really. family left, so I figure, you know, might as well. I wish I didn't have much family left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor dear. Ugh, they just constantly like, Dex, do more things with your life when I'm living oh. my life. I am. Do they bother you a lot? It's constant. It's con. It's just constant. And now, at least, you know, I don't know. This whole day has kind of woken me up. Oh, more absolutely. Than I was. I, as I'm sure it would to anyone. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm grateful for them, but at the same time, it's like, get off, get off my back, right? Like, right. I'm doing right. my thing. Uh, I'm, get I'm get living, off my I'm, back. I'm, I have my own. Exactly. Uh, I'm schedule. happy. I'm happy. I love who I yes. am. I, I love who I'm becoming. I love, uh, you know, the musician that I am, and I will find a band and I will be on top of the world. Just Absolutely. Give me time. You will. I know and it's- I am, I am very confident that someday you'll get your own bathroom and you'll throw your own poop around and you won't have to listen to anybody else. That's the dream. Throw around this, that's the dream. I want my own, I want my own studio. I want my own bathroom in the mm -hmm. studio. I want bathrooms everywhere so I can throw shit wherever the hell I want. Excuse my language. Oh, you're fine, honey. Someday. The radio comes on. It's just background noise though. Uh, Dex, can you roll for me? And Autumn, yeah, as well. <laughs> In British Columbia, Canada. Welcome back to the Community Podcast. And as always, I'm your host, Happy Harry. Let's take Ooh, a call. Ooh, okay. Hey, I was wanting to uh, request a song. A song? Uh, Turn okay. Water by the Young Rapscallions. Well, I don't normally do Wait. song requests. The show's really for giving advice and answering questions. But... Someone just requested my song, Autumn. Uh, if possible, I Your song. To to oh my God. Sure, why not? Dex, you're a good guy. Just keep going at it. You'll pull through. Don't give up, buddy. Is this you? Is this your song? This is me, but <laughs> the guy said I'm going through a rough time. I'm fine. I'm okay. Wait, who was? Who? There's, did you hear that? I, I must have missed it. A guy, a guy just called in. My song played again in here. Why are, my, someone called in my music. That's like, we don't, we only have two albums. That's not, but he said, I hope he's, I hope he's okay. I'm fine, right? Yeah, uh, well, I are you fine? I don't know. Am I fine? I feel fine. I feel you great. You seem, you seem I'm, all right. You seem I mean, much, I just much more like, composed than you were earlier. Yeah, I mean, that was shocking, and it still is. Well, I mean, maybe they're just a big fan of your music. Yeah, but... Is it so well, odd to hear your own music on the radio? No, I no, no, that's... I, I, th I, I think I deserve that. I mean, that is... I put in a lot of work. That yes. should be happening, but... Why was he saying, I hope you get through this? Maybe did you, did you, you know think, him? Wait a minute. Do you think because this all blew up because the bank or the DMV, whatever, do you think we're known now? Like our names are out there? Do you think people are worried about like our emotions? And, I, I mean, we, it's only been a couple hours. I, are I, we famous? I, I doubt it. But we don't. Maybe they know like about like my bat and like about your fire extinguisher. Maybe they're gonna do like comics about us or like make a uh, movies or shows about us. 
Could you imagine? Wow. Superheroes at the DMV. That's great. Very That's so unlikely. 2020. That's different. Oh, I could see it though, because you made, you fashioned that weapon, with the spikes in it. I, and I never imagined myself ever doing that. And I did it and it was amazing. And mm -hmm. maybe they're already writing. Maybe, oh my gosh, the, the news story went out, our names went out. So they're worried about us because we're kind of in containment right now. People don't know where we are. So they think we're hurt. Oh my gosh, we're famous, Autumn. We're famous. Um, are we? We're gonna switch scenes there. And back in the car, in the lift with Lucian. You are on the way to the DMV. Are you doing anything? So when you typed in the address, you searched it on Google, I assume. You just said this local DMV. Right. Okay. Yep. That's DMV, where I'm going. Blah, blah, okay. Blah, yeah. Blah, got blah, it. Blah. Okay. Okay. Um, when you get in the car, uh, the driver is a bit shocked. It's it's Lydia, who was your driver earlier. Uh, and she's know. shocked to see you. Okay. You don't recognize. Well, you might recognize her. She's the woman who drove you earlier. Uh, no, blonde hair, short curly hair. You don't care. Okay. So uh, she recognizes you though, um, and oh my, oh oh my God, what what, what happened to you? Good um, Lord! Well, um, right, yes. Well, I'm quite dirty. <laughs> I've got red on me. Well, you're you're not going to get that in my car. I don't suppose you could drive a little faster. What? Are you all well, right? I'm in quite a rush, and we have to get away from well. The we... hospital. We have to get away from the hospital. Well, uh, yes, I suppose the hospital. Somebody in the hospital, more like terrifying. All, all right. Are you sure quite, you're all I'm right? Quite, I'm quite fine. Yes, this is. It looks rather ghoulish, doesn't it? But it, it's. It, it, yeah, it definitely does. It looks like a movie or something. Right. Yes. Well, it's it's not it's it's not uh it's not mine, my blood. And you're sure you're all right? Oh yes, I'm I'm quite 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 fine. Oh, oh okay. Are you doing anything else? while she drives you. On my phone, making sure I can do uh, touch payment things with my phone. <laughs> yes, you can. It's usually like saved. Um, yeah, I'm just checking that because I got to figure out what I'm doing now. There's a very good chance I'm not getting my stuff back and I'm going to have to go to a... In fact, um, do, do you know of um, where, where, where I can go to purchase uh, some new clothing? Uh, I, 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 I do, actually. Uh, probably a shirt like, like this, not really... Oh, no, that's a fancy one. I, you'd have to go to something like a Macy's or a Penny's or something. Yes, perfect, yes. Well, yeah, um, well, you... well perhaps if you... We, we'll go to the, the, the DMV first. All, all, all right. Uh, and, then, and then after that, I'll Well, you know, have you'll to... have to book another ride. Yes. You know, you can't just... I can't just drive you. You'd have to book it through the app. Right, I could just... I could book you, though. I don't think so. I think I'll you just, just have it so that I, I book another one straight away, and you'll 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 be the closest one on the little map. Well, I mean, I should. There's only a couple. Right. Uh, so we'll just do that when we get there. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, so she takes you to the DMV, um, and she parks. And this is this is the location that you gave me. Are you sure this is, is the it, right one? Is it open? I'm ignoring her and looking out the window. Um, what you see is uh, a bank. Um, no, I requested the DMV. It's where, where, where well, you just, go to get a, to, to driver's license and I things. I just went to the address that you put into the app. It's the the Voda Bank. Right. Well, your your app must be uh, malfunctioning. Perhaps you could take me to the DMV then. Oh, uh, all right. We, which one? There's like three. Does it look like the place I was in earlier on? One hundred percent. This is where you fair, were though. earlier. Everywhere looks the same in America yep. when I go there as well. It's so all flat, like storefronts yep. and they all look the same and it's all weird. Um, but it's 100%. Yeah, you yes, you recognize it. Same parking lot. Same exterior. The Literally the only thing that has changed is that instead of DMV, it says Voda Bank. Is it all like taped off and shit? <laughs> yes. Oh, and there's police? Mm-hmm. Uh, perhaps we'll go to the, um, uh, yes, very well, no, 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 can you, um, hold on, 
I book another lift <laughs> to Macy's. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at, look at, would you look at that? Did you want what? it to pop up for her or were you just booking it? Yeah, I want her to take oh, yeah, me. Okay, she told right, me that's yeah. how I have to do yeah, it. Yeah, all so perfect. Yep, there it goes. I will accept. Yep. Right, yes. Of course. Obviously, it's absurd to have you not be able to take me there. You know, it's obviously going to pull in the closest person, which is you. Well, sometimes. I mean, there could be somebody else here. You never know. I don't know how these things work. It's like magic. It's a silly, absurd waste of time. Well, I, I, get, I guess so. She has a minus one to rolls because she is now depressed. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, you go to Macy's. Okay, so she will drive you to Macy's. Is there anything you want to do while you're driving to Macy's? You're just heading for a shirt, right? Um, I, don't, I don't really know what I would do, really. I mean, I'd probably have to go and, and, and go to the police at some point. Um, but I'm loath to do it. So I think... Um, it's only been two hours, so there's not going to be any, like, reports or anything or, you know, things on the news or whatever, but I might Google... Oh, yeah. Baton Rouge shooting DMV. Oh, hell yeah. Um, you see a headline. Residents of Baton Rouge were subject to extreme violence today after reports of an armed robbery at a local Voda bank this afternoon. The suspect was apprehended after firing several rounds into the air. However, an officer already on the scene managed to take control of the situation. The officer sustained a minor injury but is expected to recover. Investigation into the Voda robbery is still ongoing. Local journalists getting minor facts wrong. Really, they should do a better job verifying facts. I say to myself in the cab out loud while uh, I read that it was a, a bank and not a DMV. So, so we're going to Macy's now? Yes, use it. I could purchase a shirt. Right. I have some trousers, something new. And these shoes are quite new as well, actually. Well, they, they have blood on them, though. Yes, I'm afraid everything has blood on it now. All right, well, you... I need to get something new. Are you all right? Um, can I check my bag for a passport? Sure. A satchel that I've got on me? Sure. I'm going to assume that you would not reasonably keep that in your wallet. Okay, yes, this makes sense to me. Go ahead and roll. Uh, yes. One, one, four. Yep, you got a four. Okay, so I've got some ID. That's good. Um, I'm not going to skip the country, but I do need some ID. Um, it's then that perhaps is probably at this all... moment, though, that you... How are you going to pay for this shirt? So at this moment, you probably go... Touchy touch, phone touch payment. You don't have phone touch payment in America? What is this? <laughs> I don't think... 1763? Did America even exist in 1763? <laughs> I don't think we do in Baton Rouge, my friend. But There's we'll let, no we'll let him figure that out that when he gets there. L Lucian can see through his privilege to know that, though. Okay, so that's exactly right. We'll let him figure that assumes. out. He's going to go. Yep. Okay. Okay. So um, we're actually going to pause here. We see the lift pull into the Macy's parking lot. And uh, Lydia says, oh, you, you know, I... I can wait here, if you, or you can just call the lift now if you'll be real quick, or I can just run to McDonald's, put myself off the clock, and, and then come back if if that's something that you'd like. I'm just looking at what Macy's is in Baton Rouge, and that's what I see. And, and you're sure they sell shirts in here? Mm-hmm. Gentlemanly Trousers. types. They're fancy. Right, uh, I don't shop yeah, there, uh, but... And what's she wearing? Uh, oh, a sweatshirt, I'd say. Uh, she's very oh, kind of relaxed. I she's got the good enough for me. Yeah, she's yeah. got the she's got the the uh, air conditioning on in here because it's pretty hot outside, and she's wearing a hoodie and she's jeans. wearing like hoodie and sweatpants and yeah, stuff. Hoodie, uh, yes, perfect. hoodie jeans and flip flops. Yeah, very well. And the payment has gone through. Uh, yeah, on the app. Okay, thank you very much. Yep. Okay, bye. Uh, have a I don't have any money, I, 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 as is custom. I'm afraid I left my my my, my wallet. 
I lost, I lost my wallet and I don't have any cash money. Are you asking me for money? No, be absurd. Well then, why are you telling me you lost your wallet? I don't understand. I believe it's custom to pay a little tip to your drivers oh, often just to make- no, 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 not, not here. It's all taken care of in the app. Now, how are you gonna buy a shirt? Well, I have a little, um, you, um, you can touch on a phone now. It's quite clever, what they've done. Not here, you can't. Here, here, hold on. And she fishes into her pocket and pulls out her wallet. She gives you $50. Jesus. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, what? How, you're not going to be able to buy it. You lost your wallet. You look like you had a real bad day. You know, and I believe in karma. Right. Well, karma, yes, of course. Right. Um. Okay, so what is your... Uh, do you have a PayPal email? No, can... <laughs> you don't. You don't need to PayPal me, sir. You just have a better day, and maybe next time, pick up the ride share. I, I have no idea what that is. Um, if you give me your PayPal email address, I can send you your uh, fifty dollars back. On the, it is, I, I, I don't, really only have access to my a, phone. What's right a now, PayPal so I Pay? I don't know what that is. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, what was your name, madam? My name's Lydia. Lydia, we're we're right. not supposed to give out our last names, so I'm, no, I'm not going to... That's fine. I'll come to your office one day, and I'll uh, repay you for the, office. your... Office? Well, that makes me sound do fancy. With... I don't have an office. Well, I'm sure that Lyft um, can arrange for me to get in contact with you and uh, send you your money that oh, I owe you. Uh, what an angel. Thing as Sweetie, karma, don't... Really. don't, you don't can work. call it that if you'd like. Well, it, it is karma. It, it is, and I do believe in it, so... You have yourself right, a better yeah. day, sir. Um, um, of course, yes. Um, well, thank you for this, and I, I, I will make sure that I pay your karma back, although karma really is rather more like it's cause and effect and probability, you know, the chances of things to come back to you, very minimal, the odds that I would actually be able to... Anything. I'm not you, expecting the money back. It's well, okay. You shall have it. You, you shall have it. And okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And um, uh, maybe I'll, book, I'll probably need to book a lift I, I'm just going to run to McDonald's. I'll be around. But not too long, though, because I, I have The Bachelor at 7. I have no idea what that means. It's a TV show. This season has been an absolute shit show. Yes. Uh, that sounds rather... Uh, okay, well, I'm going to go to McDonald's. You go buy your shirt. Thank you very much. Pick a nice one with, like, uh, 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 blue flowers or something. I shall see if they have one like that, and if they, it would be a terrible shame if they don't. Yeah, or pineapples. You know, right. something a little bit more fun than what you're wearing now. Uh, well, yeah, blood. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, close the door. <laughs> Waltz over to Macy's. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, so you're just going to walk into Macy's uh, covered in blood, or are you going to take your sh try to take your shirt off, or are you just going in with the blood-stained clothes? I feel like me in my nice shirt covered in blood still looks more appropriate yes, for anywhere probably. than Dex did in yeah. the DMV. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. And I know that because Dex dresses like me in real life. <laughs> okay, so I need you to, I need you to just make a roll for me. Ah. Uh, Okay. Success. Oh, this uh, is so much better than last week. So you are going to go in and pick out a shirt, and you are going to do so without really anybody seeing you. Do you go to the change room and change into it, and then go and approach and say, like, I just put this on, and I'm I'd like to wear it out? Or are you keeping your clothes with you when you go to checkout, basically? Yeah, I, there's no way I would put it on. Okay. I don't own it. Is that a thing you do in America? You can you can put it on and then go and say, I'd like to wear this out. And then they cut the tags off and then you walk out. But if you, if you wouldn't know that, then I'd say that you approach the, the counter covered in blood and, and you have your things. Okay. So we're going to pause here and we're going to switch back to Dex and Autumn. And then we will return to Lucian in just a moment. So you two are still waiting um, for the detective who has not come back yet. And it, it's been a little, a while now. It's been like maybe, you know, five minutes, which is a long yeah. time to wait for coffee. 
Yeah. This is getting this is getting crazy. I mean, I mean, what was it? Just a root beer? Two root beers. I had, I don't know how. I knew it. I should have. We should have left. We should have. Hello. Just left. Hello? Excuse? The office is quiet. I don't know if there's anyone out there. Was there a reception? There's someone out there. Hold on. Outside? Excuse me. Excuse me? Nothing. Why is it so quiet in here? I mean, isn't this a a station? Shouldn't there be uh, something going on? I'm I'm almost fully over this, uh, to be honest. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna go into the hall. Excuse me. You can hear typing, but you don't. I'm gonna go to the. You don't see anybody. Okay, so you're gonna try to follow the typing. Yeah, uh, Autumn. I'm gonna. I'll take care of this. I, I'm gonna come with you. Yeah, I'm not staying with... here. I'm creeped out. No, of course, of course. Hello. Nothing. I'm gonna go towards the typing. Hello, is anybody here? Uh, I need you to roll, Dex. <laughs> um, something really strange happens. You are walking towards this typing. You can hear it getting louder as you approach the desk. And yeah. then you stand there and there's no one there, but you can hear it loud as days if they were right there in front of you typing. Someone's right here. That this is a really bad, weird. Except for meeting you, dead. There's someone right here typing. What do you mean, someone right here? Do I do I see anyone there? You can roll. Do I hear typing? Yeah, you can roll. God, I have the just same thing. fails all day. The same thing. So you hear the typing. In fact, you might even think you see a key press on the keyboard, but nobody is sitting there. Autumn feels out for Dex's shoulder and just kind of like balances herself on it. Right, you hear that, like there's some... I, <laughs> this isn't funny at all. This isn't funny. Is I don't... There... Is that moving by itself? Yeah, the the, 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 the typing the, on the keyboard, oh. there's someone... I'm gonna grab, I, 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 I grab the keyboard. Autumn reaches in her pocket and fumbles for some crystals and she pulls she pulls one out. Now, when she does this with her crystals, like, what is she attempting to do right now? Is she trying um, to find clarity, calm herself? Or... Yes, she wants to try and, and calm herself, and hopefully this crystal will give her, like, a little bit of, like, a light, like, show her which direction to go or which direction to look. Has she done this um, before? Mm -hmm. Okay. And has it ever... Maybe, maybe only successful to her, really. Okay. Okay, you know. but she has used this before and she believes she has in it 100%. Attempted, yes, make okay. this a, a usable thing. Okay. Um, and Dex reaches out to grab the keyboard. Yeah. And he lifts it up. It's not even plugged in. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, this is just stupid. Are we on a show? Is this why... Are we on... Is this a reality... Sh are, are, where are the... Can like, this is getting... Oh, no. Oh, what, what, what happened to uh, the detective? Autumn, are you... Are you in on this? In on what? <laughs> you got me. All right, that, that was great. Are you in on this whole thing? Is this all been fake? Is this punked? Am I in the new punked? <laughs> Dex, sweetie, I am just as confused as you are right now. When she says that, Dex, you hear the clacking of the typing and suddenly it sounds different. It sounds like sandals um, slapping against your feet as you are running very quickly and you have a memory uh, running down a dusty road and you look behind you. There's like sand, there's sand everywhere, sand in your, in your skin, in your mouth, in your hair. And you glance behind you and Autumn is running behind you and Lucian's running behind you. You are the fastest. And there is something on the horizon that is getting bigger in pursuit of you. And you are scared. Your heart is beating fast. Do you stop and go back for Autumn and Lucian? How real does this feel? It's real. You are there now. Mm. 
I go back for Autumn. Is Lu- Lucian equal planes with Autumn, like, or is he further back? He's a little further back. I grab Autumn. And because I, I, I really think I know him and he's dead now, but whatever, you know. But yeah, I grab them both and I try and run them along. And that's where we're going to end today's session. Well, I'm glad that we got all of our questions answered. It's it's a great day when you learn, you know, everything you needed to do. Everything was totally what I thought it was going to (laughs) be. Thanks, PB. I'm sorry. Guys, look, I got another episode. (laughs) (laughs) That's a spoiler, dude. That's a spoiler. Uh, Oh, is it? All right. I'm sorry. I'll put it out. (laughs) Meta meta knowledge. You got a shirt. Oh, my God. Holy cow. Okay. Well, thank you, players, for playing. Goodness gracious. I feel Uh, like we got closer today. (laughs) <laughs> what? Are you what? kidding me? What do no, you mean? We got I'm not kidding. Closer I... to what? Closer to insanity? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you've got a lot of clues. I feel like you'll figure it out. I know what's going on. I believe in you. I believe Brad in will you. say that you every know, episode Brad? until it's over. He will say that over and over until the last episode. Tell me? I know I, what's I, going I told on. You so. I knew it the whole time. No, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're all. I think we're all laying in a hospital bed, and this is an Ezekai anime, <laughs> and we're all matrixed into something. My, these two are. Okay. These two are like guides, or you know, they're like the Morpheus and Trinity types, you know. And there is something out there, like an Agent Smith or something, coming to get us, and they're trying to I felt guide like us that. away from it. But they're not allowed to directly tell us about it. It's gonna be some shit like that. I did not get that I don't at think all. that. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I still think, I, I truly believe, this is like my thought right now, I truly believe, in, in Dex truly believes that this is the Truman Show, and, and he is, he is, like, well, everyone's fucking is. with it. That is literally where my mind is at right now. The Truman Show is PB's, like, favorite movie, and the only reason I don't think it's Truman Show is because the show is called Gone. You know, we wouldn't be gone if it was the Truman Show. Like we would just call it the Truman Show. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Just... Truman Show, but he's getting punked. That's like he wasn't taken. Mixture. Truman wasn't taken. He was brought up in it, and that's how. But then we... he left, and then he was gone. Oh, this is Truman Show too. This is exiting the Truman Show. <laughs> wow, this is uh, yeah. No, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on really. Should I've got a few ideas and theories. Should we do some shout outs? I know John's on tight for time usually. So. Oh, I'm so Here's the thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm the no, one. It's, okay. it's my fault, truly, that we have to end a little early. 4.30, I got to be in. I, I, I'm on kid duty. No, it's So right. thank you so much, PB, for yeah, uh, you absolutely. Know, being able to. It's my fault she always has to end 30 minutes earlier, though, guys. I'll be honest. It's my it's not fault. not even 30 <laughs> minutes early now. That's just our runtime. That's just what's happening. Everyone going on 4.30 to 7. John Sandman. <laughs> yeah, dude. What is that? That's 539 subs he could possibly lose, which wouldn't even make <laughs> a dent. people. Wouldn't even make a dent. Get out of here. Subs. Get out of here. Uh, that was incredible. Uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll start it off. Yeah. Uh, I'm John Sandman, and uh, that, uh, I'm just scared because this is episode two, and I'm 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 really fucked up, like not not in a bad like. It's just a lot going through my head, and I'm trying. Like I even watch back our vod. I don't do that with shows. Like I don't like watching myself. Yeah, I don't uh, like watching myself either. Really, like a clip here and there's fine, but like I watch back vods to try and understand what the hell happened, and oh. that's messing with me. It really is. Like I don't do that with anything i've never done that that's why your memory uh, was so, so good you were like you were able to recall was i was shit. i was impressed <laughs> I though i was like wow okay <sighs> like i purposely waited until this week to ask you what you remembered because i wanted to give it time for you to forget some details oh, i watched the vod the, so. the night we did the show <laughs> that's how soon because i was just <laughs> is I don't, that why I you messaged out. me at like, like three in the morning because you had finished yeah <laughs> i just finished and that's why i was like hey should i have a beanie on next week like because i love my beanies and she was like i can't tell you much but you're in your same clothes i was like all right well okay cool so yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always 
Uh, and uh, Where yeah, can they thank find you. you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash John Sandman. If you like Rocket League uh, on the YouTube, uh, John Sandman. And then, uh, you know, all the socials, John Sandman TV. Uh, just thank you guys. This is so awesome. Spath, you're up. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Elspeth. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Elspeth. And I am just as confused as John. Um, I uh, What's really funny, he's like, oh, yeah, I already watched. I'm like, while we were doing the episode today, I was like, I'm going to go through. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch last week's episode. And I'm going to see if I can figure anything out because I'm still completely in the dark. <laughs> I, have, I don't even have a theory. I don't even have a working fucking theory right now about what is going on because I swear every time that I think it's something... I'm like, that's that's not it. That's it's totally not where I yes, thought it was exactly. going to go. And uh, I actually got chills when we were uh, alone in the police station um, when we couldn't hear anything because there's usually ambience behind us, like in every scene. Um, the audio design has been freaking amazing with this show too, and I'm I'm a, I'm a huge audio nerd. Yeah. Um, so. Thank you so much for for the editing and for the audio and paying attention to the sound effects because I feel like it has really drawn me in, uh, not only as as like a viewer, like enjoying the story, but as a player, I've, I'm really able to connect to it. Um, so don't fucking know what's going on, but it's amazing. Thank you everyone for watching uh, uh, the the second episode, uh, second yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah, this is only too. the second one. Feels I feel like, like we've, but we've done so much already. Yeah, so it's a lot. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to to next week. And hope God, I rolled like shit today. I, I seriously like I didn't have any successes today at all. How do Not we both one. roll zero successes? You How do we both roll me. zeros to miss him? Yeah, yeah miss, that was wild. That was not real. So, spent any time with you. I was yeah. so put out. Blew my mind. I was, I was so one of so, us so sad. Did it. Yep. Like, yeah, because like, if one of you had, then surely you would have. Yeah, everything, everything, would, everything would have changed. changed. Everything the whole would have episode. changed. Yep. Yep. I briefly interacted with Dex last week, and that yep. was it. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> apart from when you so, were like, yeah. you guys haven't even really met. Yeah. I know. I know. It's kind of nuts. I've never had a conversation. Pushed stuff on my bleeding chest while I was dying, and that's really it. So weird. Held your hand, man. Yeah. And help my hand, but I don't remember it. Yep, Sorry. I don't remember anything. Don't apologize. That's real. Uh, and where can people find you, Speth? And anything cool coming up? Oh, um, uh, you could find me at twitch.tv slash Elspeth. Um, nothing super cool, I guess. I've been playing a lot of retro stuff. So um, I was playing Metroid Prime, which is one of my all-time favorite GameCube games. Um, tonight, I will probably be online playing some Mario Kart doing community cart so if you guys want to come back play some mario kart it'll be a good time do it um yeah that's 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 really that's what's going on with me and trying to figure out this bleeding story and <laughs> i have no clue <laughs> so i'm i believe in you i believe you yeah. guys will figure it out i really do yeah hope so brad you're up uh-huh um <laughs> I rolled really poorly last week, but really well oh, this week. This so week. good this week. Um, mm. Made and, quite a bit of difference, actually. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I again, I, I have like I have the same thing that Elspeth's going on really, where there's a thousand theories going through my head and then being immediately disproved, yeah. um, or confusing me to the point where I'm like, why am I even trying to figure it out? I, I, um, right. Like, oh, are we dead? No. No, and is it maybe? Is it a sh show thing? No. Uh, are we being? We, are we in something? And it's like, you uh, know, Matrix. It reminds me a bit of the STEM thing from that. What's that game? Evil Within. Yeah. And because uh, then, then he that. ends up in those like empty police stations and stuff, right? And that's where you have like the mm -hmm. safe and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's a little weird like that. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't have any idea. Um, nope. Can I just state, though, for the record, that I absolutely fucking love X and Autumn just yes. nattering about yep. nothing. <laughs> yep. And I just want that to be a whole episode at one point. I'm happy to just sit here quietly yes. behind this. You, yeah, like, and just we could talk for probably ten hours, and it would be like nothing. So great. Right. It was <laughs> so it was really, really 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 winning good. level, amazing. Um, <laughs> Elspeth's opening, just explaining to yeah. detective. Do reckon, you want my whole day? The yeah, evil scientist. 
so it's just good. So when great. I woke up in the morning, <laughs> oh, oh, my God, pulled myself so some good. coffee, and it was long so great. in such a yeah, great way. Like, she did a really good job. Me long. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so it's good to see you in uh, full health, Elspeth, and, and yes, fucking thank killing you. it. Killing it. Um, <laughs> I once again feel ashamed to be on this cast. I shouldn't be with such wonderful people role playing. Get out of here. Shut I, uh, up. With that, with I love that. It. It's so <laughs> that gas <laughs> in the elevator. Are you kidding me? That was the best. Have fun. KPP scares the living oh. shit out of me now, which is really weird. Because <laughs> um, we've been friends for a while, and now I just am scared of her. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just looking forward to next week. You can watch my... Uh, I run a D&D game on Sundays here. If you want to watch that, that's got KPP and um, in PB one. in it, mm -hmm. um, is which it is called woman? Dying Order. Um, and uh, that's it. I don't have a real stream. <laughs> Playing Mass, Playing Mass Effect, Effect is great. And, uh, effect, and now he understands one. Reaper Relay. I'm yes. sorry, I'm, I, I started watching Reaper Relay again last night. Because I realized that it was between two yes. and three, right? Yes. And I'm on Mass Effect 3 now, so I was like, oh, I can just watch it and know what's happening and who they are and everything. So, uh, yeah. Um, I wasn't going to tell you, which is why I hesitated. I was going to watch the whole thing and then bomb you with like an essay, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Still do that, please. But yes, I, please. Yeah, I will. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Reaper Relay is a Mass Effect um, show that was run by Dan here on Table Store. If you want to check the VODs and collections and things. KPP in it. Yeah, she it was is. really cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Speaking I'm playing Mass Effect on my stream. No one cares. Speaking of KPP... Hi, I'm Katie Peters Plays. Um, <laughs> I play Lore for you today, and uh, I had a lot of fun. I'm just excited to even be a part of this. So I I love RPing with all of you. It's wonderful. And so fun. It's it's been a good time. Um, I play a lot of fun stuff on my stream. Come hang out. We do a lot of sci-fi and horror. And Dan and I are playing through Dead Space Three right now. It's so and good. Hilarious. Yeah, it's actually really funny. Yeah, and so there should be a little bit more of that this Friday. And Calling more things torso boys. Um, good old, we gotta good. we gotta turn them all into you know. torso boy. Yeah, and it's, the, it's the first time through. So before <laughs> any of you spoil anything for KPP, oh, yeah. shut your face hole. I am PB said. Yeah, mean, but it's been it's been a lot of fun. Streamer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so mean. So that's me, Dan. Dan, Hi. Dan. you're it's so me. good. So uh, Dan, so good today. Holy. Uh, hi, I'm Domestic Dan. I played Detective Reckon today. Did you? Uh, did you really? Did you? Yeah, I <laughs> did you really? Yes. yes, I did! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, you can catch me at Domestic Dan everywhere. I do, I'm a variety and lifestyle streamer on Twitch, so I do cooking, gardening, uh, DIY stuff. I also do gaming. Uh, after this, I'm going to be making uh, roast pork loin because somehow <gasps> I got uh, eight pounds of pork loin for four dollars. Uh, oh, sweet Jesus! What? Yep. You didn't buy yep. that legal? I don't know how. Are you sure it's pork loin? Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll see. No, everything's on sale now because people are avoiding stores. It's kind of great for a person uh, that cooks a lot. Sure, yeah. uh, nice. So anyway, I'll be doing that uh, shortly after this because I need to make dinner for the week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can find me doing that. And then, of course, as KPB said, on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, more Dead Space 3. Yay. Hey. Thank you, thank you, thank That's you. That's me. Pork loin. And I love this show. Pork loin sandwiches. Okay. Pork loin. Um, and I'm I'm Pumpkinberry. Uh, I've been the narrator for you today. I'm probably going to stumble through this because it's been a while since I've I've done it. Um, but thank you for being here, first of all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the fan art. Thank you for the crazy theory crafting in the Discord. Thank you for all the messages. I've gotten so many uh, messages that I need to forward to the cast that is, that you know, they don't want you guys to be spoiled by looking in the Discord, but they want you to know they love everyone's performance. They love everyone's characters. A lot of people love Lucian for some reason. Not not sure why. He's kind of a jerk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for lurking. Um, thank you for all of the support. Uh, the podcast version of the show is available on iTunes. And if you can spare five minutes this week, something that will really, really help us is if you rate and review the show. Um, 
there's a chance in the first six months, depending on how many people uh, do that, that we get featured on the front page of iTunes, and that will be really fucking cool. So if you could spare five minutes out of your day to do that, you do need an Apple device, or you do need to download iTunes if you're if you're on a PC. But you can uninstall <laughs> it when you're done. Anyway, thank you, thank you. Please do that if you can spare the time. Um, if you have a Twitch Prime, please consider using it on one of these fabulous role players. Um, thank you, John, Speth, Brad, Dan, and KPP for being excellent role players. I have my cat here. It's seven o'clock. I'm Yee. late. It's cuddle time. Um, and if you want to oh support gosh. Table Story, you can do that um, by heading over to our Patreon. Oh my God, you're so cute. Um, we have we have character sheets for you, adventures for you and your table, um, and you can make NPCs for your favorite show, including this one. Which I guess you you probably have known now. Somebody in the Discord probably knows how else you can get on the show. Because it happened today. Yeah. Yeah. That was trippy as can be. So just so that everybody listening knows, that was actually uh, an audience member that called the number from the first episode that was in the what? played. Yeah. So there was a podcast played in episode one and he gives a number, a phone number, and he says, call if you have any questions. And somebody <gasps> called and in character left a message for you. Shut yes. up. Yeah. So what? that's that, you that is. hire someone to do that? No, that's an, that is an audience member that was someone just. Someone found that from the first episode called they it. They found left. the number. Yeah, they found the number. Then they called it and heard this. I'll play it for you. Hold on. Sorry, John, I'll be fast. <laughs> um, no, 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 I'm good. I, I yeah, saw nine you, minutes. It's this that you hear when you call Thanks the number. Thanks the Courier New Podcast. We're currently at call capacity. We'll leave a message and we may play it on the air. And so they left a message in character and then we put it together and put it in the radio there. So that Were was... There, did multiple people find this or was that yes. the only message? Multiple people what? found it, yeah. But, the but there, there were two other failed roles today, so I didn't get to play the other ones. But yeah, the oh, yeah, oh but they're there. God. They're there. So, yeah, um, we will definitely be oh. using that feature a lot. So now that you kind of know, you know, call the number, be in character and uh, it may get on the air. It may get on the show. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, I knew about the number. I didn't know that was a. Uh... A real person. Yeah, that's called in and yeah, left the thing. Yeah. That's uh, ridiculous. That's actually, that's like dope. next level. <laughs> so insane. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, like yeah. It's very wow. very cool. Very very cool. Um. Okay. So I think that was it. That was it. And I'm I'm PB. You can find me at Twitch at Pumpkinberry, but I'm here all the time, so you can find me here as well. Um. PB, and... do you know like no one does what you do? Like I don't know no of one. any other DM that does anything. Like... This is like. N unreal well I'm, you know that i i'm glad you're having a good time i just want you to have a good time she's gonna go she's not gonna she's gonna cancel the show if you don't <laughs> do add any more pressure onto episode three she's not gonna show up this is unreal. <laughs> uh, i'm just, showing you to know no i'm like, just this glad is, you're having a good time it I, is true everyone go to pb stream tomorrow Pumpkinberry streams at yes. 5 et is that right? No, that's when I'm done. <laughs> but that's a good, that's that's a good, <laughs> that's a good <laughs> thing to tell them. So it's, I have to do backwards <laughs> weird math because I live in another country. No, uh, but five, it's five UK. I, I, that's which is one, one, one yeah, one, I stream at one, one Eastern. You can come there you say go. hi to me. I knew there was a five in there somewhere. And she does gone recovery you call room. It? I call it recovery the recovery room. room. Recovery we just, room. We just sit and we talk about the show. And, so and just go there. Can we watch she, that or no? Yeah, yeah, you can come watch it. There's no spoilers uh, or anything. I'm not so. watching it. Of course there's going to be spoilers. Yeah, that's totally going to be spoilers. I'm not going anywhere. Near. No I wouldn't spoilers. go anywhere. There's percent Okay. Uh, it's called the Gone Recovery Room. It's like, you know, when you watch The Talking Dead or whatever and they do those things? Okay, that is, yeah. so it's like, like not spoil it. Here's what I know, what I've learned about PB in episode two, because I've never, you know, you've never been yeah. a, a GM DM. Uh, I, watching you and you do these little smiles, like at, yeah, at certain terrifying. things. And I don't know. And, and some of them are like, that's something. And some of them are just you. Yeah. smiling because you're laughing in your head about something and i'm trying to decipher but also that that it's like literally Phoebe does this thing where her brain <laughs> will jump to a conclusion of some sort that's usually some sort of catastrophizing thing where it's like the worst possible scenario or whatever so you've got to watch out for her brain her brain will also trick her and i think that happened at one point because you even messaged me during the play where you were like i thought this Wait, what? Uh, oh, you do message me. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, block I, caps. I thought this. No, thing, but I, I, would, I thought that I can I can I just say it? I I. Well, I don't know. That's why I'm not saying it. I don't yeah, know what the rules are. I thought. Why can and can't share? I'm scared to do anything. I thought anything. John was gonna figure it out today, and then he right. said something else, and I was I like, was oh, close. okay. <laughs> Or were you? Well, you, or were so, you? I don't know, point. but I just assumed that you were role playing and you had figured it out and you were leading up to it, and then you Truman Show. I knew it. You I said something knew it. else. I, punked. Punk you said out. something else. So I was like, oh, I'm okay. Rapper. I'm on it. Yeah, but you so you were like this close to a, a role as well. Like if you had said one more thing, because it's a rule of three. So normally it's like if you say three things in succession. I will give you a cl another big clue. So oh, you were sick. really close, and then you just went off and said something else, and I was like, okay, there he goes. Aww, <laughs> I thought that's it. But it's good. It's good. It's good. I, it's real. I'm you know? going the to other for thing me. That... I'm not gonna watch back any more of my vods. Yeah. Um, because I, I think it's more fun just to be in the. That moment. is. Uh, that's the other thing you have to watch out for with PB though. Is that her brain will just like, it's like you react to a thing before you've even heard it. Your brain will go, this thing. And then you, and then it will come to the actual conclusion. Oh, and then, I am a hundred percent watching the episode. Back. <laughs> yeah. After, yeah. I'm you, the first one, you and gotta I'm watching DM the second one, and tell me if you think you find it. The moment. Oh, find what? Yeah. Yeah. Just the moment where he was gonna figure it out. <laughs> Just that <laughs> moment. I bet there's people in this chat who know, and I. I well, yeah, know. there are people. Oh God, yeah. There people are people are who so are gonna smart, watch dude. it back and watch my face and then immediately turn to like message Brad in Discord. That's all you have to look for because most of the time I'm looking here. I don't ever look over here unless it's oh a God. Discord message. Oh my God. Go find it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will figure it out. I In my brain, I said they'll probably figure it out by episode five. The treasure. Five. Do yeah. Not have until episode five. And treasure. if we don't, that means we're dumb. Yeah. We're dead. No, I'm uh, Dude, I, I've is... made my peace with being really fucking dumb. You're like, not. I can never you're figure not. out shit. <laughs> no, no. Those no you guys, those you guys take me forever. Nice. You're, you're, they are really, really dumb. The thing yeah. is, yeah. is that you're no, they are. role playing. <laughs> they're not dumb. <laughs> you remember when you did that like six hour fight against oh the thing and all God. you had to do was go around them in clockwise order and you just were like you, you never worked out that we fight with really the four colorful players. gems yep. when you <laughs> and it was just oh like you just had to attack the one that attacked you and it took them so long Brad, so, like, Brad got like so the foremost long. dipshit role players on <laughs> Twitch, <laughs> and we were like, we're, "We will get it. We'll get there eventually." And we didn't. Right. I stopped we giving them puzzles all day. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm not kidding. Oh God. All right. No, they're we not should, dumb, really. We they're should not dumb at all. take ourselves out though, because we've been chatting for a while, and I know John's yeah, got to go. It. So okay. Go all right. Yeah. We. I've we, got chicken nuggets in the oven. Yeah. So oh, we geez. love you all so much, and we will see you next week. What is it they're saying in the Discord? We're here today, gone tomorrow. Oh. Is that cool? Yeah. Can I say that on the way out? Okay. Bye. Bye.
I, I got you. Uh, Tex, where are we? 